We are both not from architecture backgrounds, right? So our parents are not into architecture. Do do the family me? No, I'm coming to this. I'm coming to when you when you start your company, then I'm coming to this question. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Computer <laughs> hang होता था. Hang होता था. बस ऐसा पूरा drawing करके hang हो गया. Save करना भूल गया मतलब. So they were standing in the queue to fill forms, and that's when they met, and they they're still together. So they definitely did not meeting the line because this guy didn't turn up for the admission. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. So, yeah. <laughs> Services presents Kyad, know your architect slash designer. Welcome back again uh, to I think we we have, we have we have a couple of episodes that we have shot and this is the finale episode um, of Kyad season one um, and we couldn't do it better than than the people we are there you know, there on the couch today. Um, they are the people who are who are transforming spaces and uh, I think I've been following them for last eight years now. uh you know briefing things on and off you know following their work on on social media uh the company is known as as space dynamics and uh, you know we have ashutosh ward sir on, on the couch with uh, manjuna chatwar sir on on the, on the couch they are founders and partners of of uh space dynamics and uh, this is the finale episode guys i would like you to go online uh, check the previous episodes um and also you know subscribe and like and share it with your friends thank you welcome sir Welcome. Pleasure is all to be here. We also have uh, Varun sir. Uh, I think he's uh, been there. I think seventh... you, you, he's been there for for a Most while. <laughs> and if you don't know him, you're missing out a lot of fun. You have to go and and watch the previous episode. He's a fun guy to talk to. Uh, and and we are doing it today with Space Dynamics. I'll start with a very simple thing, sir. How are you? How are you? Very good. Very excited as always. And uh, it's fun to do these kind of podcasts. All good. I mean, it's a new experience. Let's see how things go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So it's yes. a very free flowing conversation. I'll I'll just ask you one basic thing. When did your partnership start? So 2005 is uh, when we started. 2007, 2005, 2006. So 2006, it's been yeah. it's been that long, right? That so long. we've even forgotten that we are cups. We started. But yeah, it's been 2006. I think we yes, started. Yes, 2006. We started. Five unofficially. Five unofficially. We we kind then, of started uh, brewing this uh, concept yeah. of uh, a co-partnership. And uh, formally, yes, 2006 we. But we, we know each other rolling. since <laughs> since 1992. Yeah, so right, we are so friends we since 1990. College. 1994. 1990. 94 we joined. Four, we joined. Yeah. 94 94. we joined uh, Sir J J College of Architecture. We studied in the same batch. Yeah. Best of friends, a part of a much bigger bunch yeah, of yeah, great almost. friends. Yeah, we are yeah, celebrating almost. 30 years of friendship this year. Yes. yes. With the J J alumni. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. How was it? I think um, let's start from your from your college days. I think that's that's where we will start. Those were the best days of college my life. College days uh, were a uh, hoot. Yeah, I mean, the the song <laughs> does do justice to <laughs> the feeling. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. I think we Absolutely. all we all who studied at uh, JJ will always uh, years back, and I think people who've been graduating now, college has a has a great uh, atmosphere. It's, it's got a great. Alumni, it's, it's, everything is great about it. I think the badge that you guys have come out from a lot of people now that we meet. I think in the podcast itself, we have like forty, fifty percent of people are from 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 your college. You know, the, yeah. more or less. I think that time yeah. there were very few colleges. Well, yes. And uh, intake was less. So yeah. Yes. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, I was at a event few days back, and I met somebody who's graduated from JJ uh, when he, he started his journey when I was wasn't even. Born that time, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you could connect with that person and the vibes that time with the college and when we started were kind of very uh, similar. similar. So yeah. we could actually strike a long conversation. Yeah. Whole, yeah. Yes. Who was your favorite uh, sir? I think professor in college. Lots actually. We had uh, yeah. we had some great fa- faculty. I think when we. Uh, I mean, studied. one one person who stood out was. Uh, Sankhalia man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like I mean the dawn. Really? <laughs> I mean, amazing, at, amazing. At that lady. time, I mean, like imagine this is like 30 yes. years ago. She could eat you up. Really? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, right? I mean, she had that whole aura of uh, yeah. being dominating, Dominant. you know, and uh, feminism, as they call, or you know, yeah. you didn't have uh, ladies who had that kind of uh, dominance over. Not only on students because it's it's easy to dominate students. Yeah, yeah not just right. students. But she had an aura and she had a dominance over her co-professors uh, and okay. <laughs> and male professors in front of her. You could you could see them shiver. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> she had a, she had a great husky voice. Absolutely unapologetic. And, yeah, yeah. She used to yeah. smoke 
crash your design yeah. both ways in in a positive way and the way she could get you grounded saying that this is all crap she had a very very distinct way of putting yeah, things yeah. Uh-huh. across which was fab actually but like even wo jharti thi na to be as ha that wo main hu na lag raha hai chashmida se so i think yeah even i would actually agree sankalya ma'am uh, had a great impact on the students yeah and then some really friendly professors pitkar sir pitkar. He still teaches he still yeah. a great, great dear to friend us. now we yeah. don't call him professor he's a friend now yeah. and a great guy to hang around from 94 till now years. Yeah. our first principal mr tungare i think uh, he was the kind of role model of how uh, yeah. a principal could manage yeah. a professional college being uh-huh. uh, being disciplined at the same time being extremely friendly with with students and giving nice. them that uh, space giving yeah. them the liberty to do things correct off record you know uh, socials and a lot of fun activities a lot of cultural activities related to design nice uh, okay design programs and he was he was open he was very open minded uh, uh. for 94 and of course yeah. those were his last years we so started way back and yeah. uh, somebody whom we really enjoyed uh, being part of college yeah. i mean some yeah. of these things when you talk to our i mean they can't the associate now with, they cannot associate with that, yeah. college with stuff like that happening at uh, college college is all so something it was different. like a completely yeah, different yeah. world yeah. that we grew up in i think that is what also taught us to think freely agreed of which is very you know people uh, are very uh, constrained now they are yahi padhna hai yahi dekhna hai yahi karna hai that's that was absolutely not people there. are too compartmentalized this yeah, is yeah, what yeah. i was very to compa- go very compartment very compartment the faculty was great i think we, we, we were lucky uh, uh, very lucky yeah, in that I'm, sense I'm, i'm breaking the flow of the podcast but um, uh, because I've, i'll come back to this this stage again but i'm just moving to 2024 uh, uh, are the people who are graduating now are, are the same caliber that you guys graduated on uh I, it would be wrong on my part to say no yeah. there there are going to be yeah. skill sets for every generation yeah. but i think this this generation is moving too fast uh, i feel basics of sketching and basics of uh, you know conceptualizing on paper and those i'm i'm seeing them uh, as a rarity now you know? yeah you don't see them too often which is something which uh, not happy i think they're still old school mm. and i we, we both rarely work on the computer you know yeah. very rarely you will see us on our ipads it will be all the time with paper pencil we still use the strong so. <laughs> thick leads to sketch to hatch and we have a complete pencil on paper yeah. guys you know? there is always a good and a bad to technology right yeah. Yeah. so it's yeah. how you absorb technology yeah. and how you use it yeah. so i think people are veering towards the wrong side of technology in terms of i agree how architecture is being taught I and agree. how they are yeah. being molded to go forward in the profession i think yeah like you said i mean the the old school of being able to sketch and visualize uh, i think, I think the free flow of thoughts happen perfect. when you're holding a pen and you're writing yeah, something in a, in a you're positive expressing. way in yeah. a, in a more progressive way i would say that uh, the generation will be able to conceptualize uh, much freely and in a more dynamic way than probably what we did those years correct because okay. our exposure towards Uh, structures are exposure towards materials was very very limited hmm. so i think if this generation takes advantage of imagine what was being done outside india was only known through printed books yeah okay okay uh, or years say koi agree. professor bolta tha ki yaar <coughs> for example empire states building aisa hai to hmm. there is no Just google na to yeah. immediately to have an access to the yeah. information you have to go to oh, books yeah. Yeah. you have to there are one picture in the textbook yeah. maybe so that's our exposure to architects yeah. were limited this yeah. ka book aata tha you know used so to see that architecture get influenced with that charles korea huge influence because yeah. his work was all across india correct and we all loved yeah charles korea you know greatly i think i was greatly influenced by by him but again the exposure to his structures what what we could see and travel yeah. Yeah. but now imagine Uh, let's say somebody who is studying architecture he takes a flight to azerbaijan 
Baku and looks at the Hyder Ali Wave Center yeah, yeah. and he can get influenced in a completely, agreed, you know, agreed, uh, agreed. I, I would say berserk way, hmm. in, a, in a positive yeah. way, which was not uh, available for all of us. Agreed. So I think using that uh, technology, travel, uh, in a better way, they should turn out much better designers. But are they turning out to be better? Because you might be hiring. This is what my question is. They don't. Because Honestly, I, just to give you a context, last yeah. episode we have the Vikan the studio. He's like, like you mentioned sketching. He still, he still, he still, still sketches the entire detail with markings of what goes where. Yeah, so yeah, we do that. That's what Correct. We do. Yeah, yeah. But he says the new generation, which I'm, which I'm, which yeah, I have yeah. now. <laughs> so I, I'll tell you what happens. Right? If I if I take a pencil. Right? There is there is nothing in between me, my thought and my execution. Yeah, right? okay. It's my hand, my brain yeah. that's going And the thoughts it. are very free The moment free you get onto yes. a computer, yes. yeah. right? there is another medium hmm. in between your thought and how you Correct. want to express it. I Correct. think that is where yeah. things yeah. take a back Technology. in the sense that your visualization may not really come out the way you want it to when there is some other medium that is going to interpret it and put it onto the, the screen or the, the computer whatever. So mm. some basic, you know, scale things like very simple things like scale. Scale, yeah. yeah Just to missing. understand that yeah, if this room is ten by one twenty to, uh, or thirty by twenty, yeah. I should visually yeah, be able yeah. to model. Okay, ye itna yeah. hoga. No, when you no, go on computer, I always tell our, we always tell our team members ki, ab zoom out, zoom in, zoom out kar the, the screen has no scale. Mm. It's, it's but when you go on paper, everything that you do okay. is, is scale. scale. And that is, I think, the fundamental uh, nice. mistake that most yeah. in the in the new generation are doing. They are so infatuated with the screen, be an iPad or a bigger yeah. screen, yeah. that they lose sense of scale. So, mm. if you zoom, karo, to bada dikh hai, but if you plot, karo, to they don't know what it is. So, if you tell them to draw a basic layout, forget building, building is, but let's say a 3, 4 BHK apartment mm -hmm. on scale, they will not be able to do that. Most of them, I mean, with due respect. I'm, uh, I know I'm going to hurt a lot of uh, new generation. <laughs> ka no, but this is something that this is something that yeah. I mean, it's a point of reflection. They can understand. Point adapt. To note this yes. and, and try to inculcate this in yeah. their daily yeah. uh, practice of uh, design. I think it's like, a big. Difference. My father was a contractor and was, I've always been into this industry. I'm very small, you know. Okay. And then we used to wait for that architect ka sign wala drawing kabi aayega. <laughs> <laughs> architect ka sign yeah. wala drawing kabi. And, and we used to wait, you know. Because we used to get money at home when the slabs were casted, you know, that was yeah, the time yeah. when it used to work like yes, that. It was a yeah. whole different, yeah, I think yeah. our generation, I would say, has seen uh, the best of or whatever, the, the both sides. Yeah. Right. Doing it in a very formal, yeah. very yeah. Uh, structured, but yet organized way. Correct. I remember, upon uh, drawing, what did we make? We drawing submit drawing, I keep forgetting that name. No, no, transmit. <laughs> so, the newer generation doesn't know what a transmit is. None of the drawings. Going out. <laughs> Can you give a context to this? What it is? So it's a, a transmittal. Okay. Was okay. a paper that you attach uh -huh. when you release a drawing to a contractor slash developer, okay. team member okay. slash vendor, any person. So that's okay. record. And it's gone. That's a record. record right? Because yeah. but now because of email yeah. or whatever, no, it's recorded like a pager. Pehle pager tha, yeah. pager nahi hai. But <laughs> the point is that an email or WhatsApp as a data can be erased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. There's no limit. Can be but transmittal used to remain as a. It's a hard document. It's, it's a hard document. Yeah, yeah, it's a hard document. Yeah. yeah. So we can trace value, back so. and say, "Yar, ye layout uh, structural engineer ko do tarikh ko gaya. Yeah, because right. I have a transmittal. Yeah. And we didn't even have the facility to take a picture and picture. post it. Yeah. Transmittal ka copy banta tha. Yeah. Ek copy yeah. contractor rakta tha. Ek copy office mein rakta tha. Nice. So those days, I think uh, they are fun. Technology has taken over. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think uh, when those things of printing uh, on tracing paper, right? Gate, yeah, gateway. gateway, gateway, gateway paper. Okay. It was called like semi-transparent. Yeah. Yeah. The blue color. Print on. Yes. And then you take a blueprint. Yeah. So, okay. That's how the blue. And ammonia used come, to stink. Right? Mm -hmm. Ammonia stinks, etc., etc. Yeah. But there. Once you make the drawing, there's no changing, right? If yeah. you change it the drawing, you're screwed. Correct. Because then you have to erase <laughs> the entire thing, do Redo it again. again. Yeah, so yeah. There's no copy paste, there's no delete and cut <laughs> and stuff like that. So control C, we control were, V. Control, there's we nothing. were very meticulous. First time banega, yeah, yeah. last time. First, first time, time right was uh, right? a big thing, I think. Yeah. Today, with most of that's completely that's gone. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all. Delete, undo, redo, yeah. redo. So like revised, delayed. revised one, revised two, revised four, revised eight. And uh, so the 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 dis 
the distinct difference is the generation that uh, that went to college with hand hmm. drawings, drawings and then the generation that went into computers directly correct i think that was the hmm. the yeah. line yeah okay so we still were on the edge Mm. So we that's another part last, where we were lucky. Yeah, so we started on paper, okay. and then and then, and then we came to computers. I, I so learned changed. my AutoCAD when I was with my first uh, nice job. Okay, I, we had no, I had, yeah. I had so not seen an AutoCAD job. file yeah. in college. Yeah. We, we didn't have yeah. a no access to AutoCAD, no software. No, I mean, college yeah. wouldn't afford having even that mm. program. Correct. We okay. had basic Excel and and we had a computer which we used to teach us like computers general. Okay. Okay. Stuff. Like a computer lab. Like a computer lab. Computer lab. We had in our schools. Yeah, computer lab. Computer lab. It looks. It seems like a uh, alien concept. Alien concept. Yeah. Yeah. And that had some basic software like the the old Excel, the old Word, and uh, all these documents. And we were taught that. So we were never taught AutoCAD. AutoCAD. I remember. Sorry. Computer lab, you know, there was, there was a rule that to remove the shoes outside and go inside. Yeah, I don't yeah, know why. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dust free, na? Because <laughs> that time, ka computers no, no, those computers were very sensitive. And 40% sensitive, was playing right? Pac-Man. Yeah. <laughs> so now you have these computers that you can put in water, right? Uh, yeah. So the technology has come to that uh, that stage now. But that time, it was like floppy drive. Remember that? But that it was a different drive, exciting. Yeah, yeah. Be with uh, pressure with the computer. <laughs> transfer so, your drive. It was like one MB. Floppy drive. Floppy drive, so what love? Four out of five was always not working. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so and uh, computer time. hang होता था. Hang होता था. बस पूरा drawing करके hang हो गया. Save करना भूल गया. मतलब. खत्म. मौत है. Yeah, but it was fun. I think. Uh, our, uh, I think, oh, till our times, the patience levels were very high. I feel. Yeah, yeah. Now the patience levels with most zero, students zero. are getting, getting lower by the day. Getting <laughs> seriously low. Zero. Yeah. Uh, my son is studying architecture now. He nice. started. Okay. And I keep telling him that keep patience levels very high. Yeah. Sketch. Okay. Don't uh, work on the computer as yeah. much as you can. Yeah. Go back to old school. Agree. थोड़ा थोड़ा सुनता है. Let's see. No, but I think you're a okay. you're a great example in front of him. To be very honest, what happens is a lot of uh, the reason we think we are discussing this this uh, this topic is we have a lot of people. The audience the ratio that we have in there. Uh, you know, uh, you know, early twenties and and towards you know late twenties and twenties. Mm. Uh, these are people who are recently graduated, maybe, or they are yes, people yeah. who who yeah. want to start something sure. of their own. It is important to know these things, you know, because Absolutely. you might learn everything, you know, but but basics is, is something which which you cannot learn. It is yeah. a skill that you have to develop yes. by by practicing. That's that's basic people, is something that you cannot people learn. People don't understand. It's not about we're not artists. We're not we're not a we're not going to be a Hussein or a. Raza art curator <laughs> draws very well as long as you are able to put that content forward you oh, yeah. yourself understand the content yeah. by a very simple sketch yeah. and if you are able to explain it to a client yeah. or a contractor that's, through that sketch i think it's it's yeah, all it's, it's all purpose. set you need not have great uh, sketching skills yes. in the sense <coughs> great i would say uh, artistic sketching skills mm. you need to have basic graphic sketching skills and, and that's enough Okay. So that's why it's called technical drawing, right? It's not called drawing, drawing, or nice. uh, whatever yeah. else they call these fine arts. But it's it's a technical, technical drawing. drawing. Technically, right doesn't have to be a ninety degree perpendicular Perp- parallel line, etc., etc. But it's explanatory and technically right, correct, is what you should yes. be able to do. Also, okay. so that's something that they should should learn doing it by hand, yeah. the best way. Let's go back now, ninety four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> How after graduation, what what, what happened? I think uh, when you graduated, maybe you joined a firm, and that's that's how your whole uh, journey started. The journey always begins uh, when you a want to go with the firm that you really at the end of uh, fifth year you start thinking which are the firms that, and obviously those days there were not as many firms, firms. as what this generation has to Correct. choose. So limited, very limited, limited. Yeah. and uh, to get in. Uh, email exposure bhi nahi tha so you have to physically physically go everywhere go yeah. and write an application yeah. Yeah. so you could reach an x number of firms and so very difficult times a lot of pe- people had started moving uh, to the us and uh, mm. a lot of places so i think couple of years before i graduated that was a time when suddenly all fields everyone started moving to the us yes. to do masters and stuff so 
as a as a what 21 year old or 20 year old yeah 21 year old 22. you start getting confused yourself if mm. half the batch is going to the us <laughs> are you where, staying where back and doing something wrong you know, that's a big question uh, but we we i think were very clear that we wanted to stay back okay. big fans of this half country and uh, we always wanted to be here and grow as yeah. how uh, the whole country is growing yeah. we were very confident and patient yeah <laughs> most important so yeah so just for context this time when we have graduated is when the industry is in a very bad state yeah very bad yeah. state very bad the economy was also not doing good then yeah, yeah. So, 99 98 99 yeah. 2000 yeah, 99 99 so yeah. right there was an absolute slump in the market yeah. which yeah. is yeah. very bad which is why i think a lot of people decided ki yaar na chodo yaha nahi hona yaha pe kuch nahi ho raha let's go salaries were also very 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 basic na 1000 rupees mein kya ho gaya you can't even agreed manage your day to day stuff in 1000 bucks a month so sometimes people are spending more money on the travel than what <laughs> then yeah, 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 yeah. it was okay i think the learning curve we were all whoever stayed back i think we're all uh, clear that these next 10 years are going to be very critical yeah. mm. and then from that things start to change the period gets over will start rolling but now i think lot of people want to come back there is a lot of people who are migrating back this is in india this is, this no, is, this is next 20 years is, years is for us so. yeah. surprising when we are hiring. i think we all who stayed back knew that <laughs> yeah yeah long time back <laughs> we can take that yeah uh, but experience comes to so, be very honest and that's yes. that's there you know because uh, we, someone who start coming back now and starting something again will will take we'll lot take of lot of time you know a uh, lot of time because i yeah, think it will uh, be difficult yeah. it's a, it's a different part of the world too yeah. where you left off and where it is now also the market yeah. has evolved a lot because things have changed it's still a extremely uh, uh, relationship based uh, yeah, yeah. industry you know mm-hmm. 100% very very and totally. that is something which someone who's worked in the in the us or in the western world finds mm-hmm. it very uh, difficult, difficult to adjust difficult to. agree man management plays an extremely Extreme. important think, part i think uh, which we as indians who stayed here across the whole industry is 30, based on 40 years yeah. have an age over a yeah. lot of others you know, yes. man manage people is i think are are forty that that way agree so here even even though the industry if you look at uh, the value of the industry by itself right. could be in maybe hundreds of millions of dollars yeah, right? yeah. but the way the profession actually functions yes. is really like a small scale industry it's a very fragmented yeah, yeah. very, very, very fragmented nothing is organized the developers and stuff like that the rest of the industry is very small scale right? yeah People and so the quality level other, within a you know, medium or lower level to a very premium level is absolutely so it's it's a different ball game it's not corporate at all yeah so yeah, for yeah. that like he said industry. wo aake manage karna is going to be very difficult very difficult people who are going to migrate back now i think it's not i mean not negatively speaking in our industry it's difficult. not that easy <laughs> at post yeah. 40 it's uh, very very difficult. very very difficult. I have because lot of CVs because I'm we are currently hiring for for the thing. Lot of CVs which are coming from overseas also, which is surprising. Yeah, People are applying on LinkedIn yes. from overseas yes. that you because want to come back. Because everyone realizes now that yeah. India is a place. Next twenty years, next twenty thirty years, there's no change. It's grown last twenty years, and it's I think now the now the graph is only one way. Up, yeah. Only one way. So my sister lives in states. You know, I, I think. Five years before, until last five years, my mom was like, "Abhi shift ho jate hai, wahan chale jayenge, na." That's what. I, but now she she started saying, "Nee, yeah, acha hai. Yeah, yeah, bahut acha hai." This we is were, getting better. Things are good there. Good. Everything is good we here. We are always relaxed. Confident, yeah. confident that this is the place to stay. Yeah. This is the place to make money, Agreed. and uh, this is the place to have a good lifestyle. Yeah. I think. And the community yeah. support you have it in India. You can't have it in India. No. Like yeah. the support I is everywhere, the, right from a society to our house. Community <coughs> support. Overall the support right, everywhere. The uh, balance between. Uh, Uh, work and uh, personal, personal life, life is, is your exception to earn a decent amount of money i think any what you can live here you can't a, live any part of the world yeah yeah we have everything here now so how did it start which which firms that you start with sir so i started with uh, sanjay puri nice yeah, yes. so that's where i started okay and then so uh, i actually started with uh, dara misri and partners which was a firm in in kolaba okay okay just by fluke I had not applied anywhere, right? We had. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, and actually, how many places you applied? <laughs> we finished our final year viva. Okay. And we, we a big bunch of friends. And, oh, oh yeah. So we, we all went ten uh, days on holiday. <laughs> so last days of abhi khatam ho gaya abhi now you know we we'll get into yeah. the. And we actually didn't know ki apply. Apply karna. Hum to dasin chutti ke liye nikal gaye. 
everyone who's worked there at that point of time you know if we spend uh, one month it's like spending three months really so that's the kind of work that used to happen in that studio uh, okay. so learned a lot of things very good memories then uh, i freelance for 2 3 years okay okay and uh, was thinking what to do whether to join back then i think by that time manjunath had joined in the meantime Sanjay i already office. joined sanjay puri acha okay okay, <laughs> so, okay. So. after he left okay okay and uh, uh i must say that 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 place the more you want to learn you can learn lots yeah. right yeah. people who really have that sense of uh, passion for design they want to know how to yeah. how to design how to execute the design yeah, to develop the design you know that was a great place to learn because i mean to be very frank sanjay was not really involved once he did the design राइट या हां एवरीथिंग इज अप टू यू द बेसिक स्केचेस उसके बाद तो मतलब द टीम हैड टू टेक इट अप एंड एंड डू व्हाटएवर करेक्ट सो एवरीथिंग हैड टू बी डन बाय बाय द टीम राइट सो इट वाज एन एब्सोल्यूट एब्सोल्यूट स्प्लेंडिड द स्टूडियो हैड ग्रेट वाइब्स संजय भाई वाज अ ग्रेट गाय टू वर्क विद ग्रेट फन एंड देन आई थिंक सो व्हेन व्हेन आई वाज ग्रेजुएटिंग एट लीस्ट फॉर मी इट वाज वेरी क्लियर दैट इदर आई जॉइन संजय पुरी के ऑफिस given a chance of course okay. mm-hmm. but all or charles korea okay okay uh, i i really don't remember why i didn't join charles korea i think by that time he was he was doing less of work uh-huh. i guess he was maybe, more in the consulting or yeah. maybe okay that kind and of I role and i think with due respect he was not into the commercial side of architecture he was doing more uh, institutional projects okay okay and obviously uh, apart from architecture we had to set our lives on track yeah. so we had to yeah. get the angle to work also yeah, so we had to Uh, so, I, so I thought Sanjay Puri would be a better practice. To... Okay. Then how did it? How did this do happen? Culminate into a yeah. partnership. So because we were friends since college, so kind of design ideology ideology yeah. so always matched. Frank, I mean, we were like a very tight, yeah. tight yeah. kind of group yeah. Okay, yeah. in college, and all of us were very design. Design was a thing that we were all passionate passionate about. Correct. And we used to all uh, sketch a lot, so that was common. Yeah. Sketch. We used to all travel a lot, and we used to like uh, seeing good architecture, like following good architecture, traveling to see good good architecture nice. within whatever nice. constraints we right. had. Like we used to go and see Charles Korea's every structure in in India, wherever uh, okay. we had made stuff. And, and to be very frank, experience. that was another factor that kept us in India that we wanted to start our own practice. Nice. It was very clear. Okay, that was clear. Kuch ka karna hai. Yeah, yeah, that was very clear from day one. We'll do it. Okay. Obviously, if you go to the US and wherever, it's I mean almost impossible for you to start your yeah. own. own form and you don't know right? what's happening. So, where we yeah, are landing. Yeah. So it was always playing on the back of our minds. Ki yar, ye to karna hi hai. Then finally, I mean. 2006, yeah, 2005. 2005. Gestation period. Unofficially 2005. Period. Officially yes. 2006. Yes. Gestation period is too long, but uh, I think once we started, we were rocking. Yeah. We never looked back. <coughs> projects were happening. We used to, I think, do more projects that time than what we are doing right now. Yeah. Oh, in terms it? of numbers, yeah. But of course, now the fees the valuation is much bigger. Yeah. Scale right? is different. But, but uh, that time we used yeah. to used to work crazy hard, non-stop. Right? It was. Har jo bhi kaam aa raha hai, wo lene ka aur sab kar kar. We didn't have a choice at that time. We right? have a choice. I mean, and, and you are in that setup mode, so everything yeah. had a different yeah. Yeah. energy so we, to it. And we are both not from architecture backgrounds, right? So our parents are not into architecture. Do do the family me koi architecture. I'm coming to this. Now, I'm hai coming hai. to when you when you start your company, then I'm coming to this question. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, we we take it as an advantage. Yeah. I think uh, again with due respect to people who have their next generation working, I'm sure there are advantages. But yeah. you're, I think that initial uh, initial push. that you give yourself when you don't have a you know parental firm yeah is nice and when it feels nice that whatever little you've done you've done it on your own you've done it on your own mm. so that gives yeah. you a different high i agree very different so 
2000, how, how did you guys thought about it? The name is same since 2005, Space yes. Dynamics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yes. did you come up with this name? So I like, I was freelancing a lot and Correct. doing okay. a lot of work. Correct. Obviously it was hands full. And at some point of time, we had thought that we'll, we'll work together. It was never like formally discussed, yeah. but okay. you know, obviously uh, the first name that came to my mind when I thought of collaborating was him. Okay. We had another okay. friend who yeah, could have collaborated, but he migrated yeah. to the US. the US. Okay. Okay. So it could have been among three the three people. that we would have set up a practice. So it was there, but not formally. Uh, this but is a real life example of Dil that. Dil Chahta now hai now thoughts now getting culminated yeah, into yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was, it was, um, it was. Yeah. So then we collaborated initially. Of course, we worked from our first office was in my my apartment. Yeah. So we used to work from there. We started with converted half of my parents' apartment into an office, <laughs> pushed them into their bed, into their bedroom. And then we took a small studio. <coughs> and we took a bigger studio. Yeah. That's how it started. How big is the team now, sir? So about 15 of us. Nice. Yeah. Oh, nice. We're a small team. Yeah. We'll be growing. I think mm -hmm. uh, the whole idea of team is, is is an impactful team is is important rather than having yes. one big size and yes. it's quality over quantity that's yeah, that's, that's what i always something think. which we've kept uh, yeah. very constant yeah. throughout now speaking about why architecture see uh, i'm talking to a, a kid's mind which is yeah. 10 years old 11 years old and, and then Absolutely. thinking about yeah. after after because that time you know you had major professions which we already i think yes. we've discussed over this, this right. podcast for a very long time right. now was time pe ye profession jaisa nahi tha to be very honest and it was there but right. not how it is today today is to like everyone wants to get into this this this, this industry, industry. Yes. architecture nahi mila to interior designing interior designing mila right. to kuch aur you want to right. be a part of part this of thing right. but what what happened that point counselors unfortunately today are dissuading uh, children from doing architecture huh? <laughs> 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 I, I went to a counselor few years back and she was really? like hey, architecture why architecture <laughs> like, no that's not a paying field I think people see the wrong sides sometimes yeah. and people don't see the brighter. The, every profession will have both sides. Yeah. Correct. You know? The percentage is a divided. You have successful practices and you will have people who have been successful sitting in a developer's office okay. Okay? and to each his own. You can't, uh, you can't say that somebody is sitting in a developer's office and managing a huge industry yes. today. Even he is doing a fab job. Matlab, you need not be a consultant all the time. So. I think what architecture does is that it opens out a lot of avenues for you. Yeah. Imagine this store, somebody, uh, somebody who has an interior design qualification right. can obviously add an edge yeah. with, with due respect. Yeah. Yeah. Matlab, yeah. Generally to yes. pick stuff and a lot of architects now are collaborating to have their own furniture stores, stores or, yeah, yeah. Uh, blah, blah, or some blah, product blah, design or something is happening. I think and ID I have, this year also what we saw was was major so designers were collaborating and getting yeah, their yeah, stuff on board. I think it's that's, all yeah. storytelling now. So, and yeah. I think as architects we are we are taught to uh, narrate stories really well. And I think it's a fab field to be in because it gives you a, a mix of uh, technical and art together. Most other forms would be, of course, there is a technique to every form of art. But uh, let's say fashion design, you know, yeah, right. the technical part is limited. Correct. And it's the all art about takes art. over yeah. more. Yeah. But here it is it is almost balanced Balance. at 50-50. Uh, yeah. The technical and the, the art is, is balanced. So I think if you if you like uh, seeing the technical side and being artistic both, yeah. this is the field. And it again, like I said, opens up uh, immense avenues. I mean. You can do anything for can be a set designer. I think most movies today is yes. a lot of movies yeah. are backed with art directors yeah. who have most of them have have a BH qualification. Correct, correct. Yes. You know, and they're doing yes. a fab someone job. is doing Sanjay Bila, uh, Sanjay Bila set yes. also. I have something so many there. friends. We have yeah. so many of our friends, okay. yeah. batchmates, juniors, seniors, who are doing fabulous jobs yeah. uh, okay. on, on movies Movie. and sets. sets because they understand uh, the background yeah. right. much much better. The anyway, recent yeah. movie Piku is done by a friend. And yeah. He's, okay. he's just to get that locale right, you know. Okay, okay. When we watch a movie, we only look at the actors. The actors but right. we we <clears throat> sometimes forget that the whole fabric behind yeah. is, is also what makes it whole, more realistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine yeah. if you got it wrong. Imagine yeah. Piku now, since you're yeah. talking of that movie. Yeah. Imagine that house was, was that? not that house. Yeah. And imagine a modern setup yeah. would have gone would completely have wrong. Agreed. Or even 
a 10% more modern setup than that correct would have would gone have, wrong yeah. forget the sense forget of that even this. that car actually the way they selected the car mm. it uh, the car is also part correct. of art design yeah, yeah, exactly. they agreed if they had a wrong car yeah. wo innova mein shoot karne ko feel nahi aata nahi aata nahi aata so i think art direction uh, most architects are, are very and very all, that's also like space design right you have yeah, to design yeah, you have to how that the, space will look yeah. the whole screen will look you have it's to design space and, story. and, and that the story era also that yes. is important yeah, so yeah. it's all part You've of the not got into that exactly. world but i'm sure the director and the producer must be narrating a story to the the art director, art director. agreed and then, then the art director the takes set. something it's, it's very similar to what we do a developer oh, yeah. comes in a client comes in narrates a story for his house for his building yeah. you grasp you pointers out of that you translate that story into so i think architects are uh, are quite well equipped to do ah, to yeah. that and lots of other professions now most of them are with good developers and developers have a much a bigger team, team today yeah. and is backed yeah. by architects yeah. finally they want architects to be on their panel yeah. Yeah. with lots of other professionals but yeah. to do their work 20 years back i don't think any developer that we work had an architect chief architect working very rarely maybe the top guys yeah okay yeah. today even a everyone has it a, on board everyone everyone, everyone has, has. Yeah, local developer will have Agents one have. designer one architect more yeah no more. They have a whole no, team people who are over and, and far off from Mumbai also have got yeah. have got someone who's working so, there. I think everywhere. Yeah, yeah. They, had, they should have. People realize now that most yeah, exhibitions, exhibitions are done, are done by, by uh, architects uh, or designers. Or designers, you know. I think all the booths are designed yeah, yeah. by them. There's so I think thing. one one yeah. field that opens out, like I've been saying again, multiple avenues, yeah. lots and lots of avenues. Once you get the basics of design uh, right, right, anything, like cars, a lot of cars are designed by. Uh, designers who have a basic architecture degree then they move yeah, right. on to industrial okay. design take a yeah. master and then further master mm. and then end up doing uh, automobile yeah. design etc so what what was there in, in your mind when you when you joined architecture why did you join architecture the first question for both of you why because you guys don't have a background yeah of family yeah, members so, i mean i would credit absolutely my dad yeah okay. okay okay so he used to get all these books right all kinds of books from some friend who had a stall okay. you can buy right yeah, yeah, yeah. the books were so expensive and you could really buy so we had some friend who had a stall so every day when he came from office he would get one book koi to aisa loan pe lake ki ye dekh so yeah. by coincidence things like uh, you know inside outside and all that stuff jo wo okay. time pe like top magazines yeah. the they started, started coming mm. coming home right i mean i'm just browsing i'm not really you know imbibing anything aisa kuch nahi hai but you started over a period that. maybe you know in 3 4 years you start realizing ki oh chalo ye kuch acha lag raha hai let's mm. try something so i i started trying out planning and stuff like that you know in school so okay 8 okay. 9 10th is what we're talking about so my dad realized ki yaar isko to acha lag raha hai okay so then he started getting more expensive yes, like a plus d and stuff like that nice so usme se then i used to go through all all of that so unconsciously you know you something goes into your brain right so, so from school time things, you were getting prepared to let's say okay theek hai let's try something try something and i started building models okay of cardboard and stuff like that okay. and then my dad said yaar theek hai then why don't you just try architecture and because it's there it's a feeling yeah. so you try yeah. that and i said fine <laughs> <laughs> so that's how sounds so simple but basically yeah. yeah for you sir I think fascination uh, for structures, yeah. and uh, so I was not very good at uh, fine arts. I had a decent hand, so okay, I wanted okay. to be connected to the art field. Yeah. And uh, engineering, medicine was never uh, happening. Commerce was never happening. So then I think because, like I've been saying, technical and art right. were both connected here. So that's how I started uh, liking. Also, one thing that happened was to so travel a lot with my parents. Okay. Okay. So uh, even stuff like Delhi, there's so much architecture yeah, yeah. in Jaipur, and visited a lot of places. So once as a kid, you start uh, seeing a lot of structures gotcha. because typically in India, either there is a there is a natch nature related uh, you know, tourism, tourism or, or monuments. Monumental. So Correct. We did both, and uh, that's what how I got fascinated with structures. Did a lot of uh, visits, even. even forts of maharashtra to trek a lot mm. so the forts of maharashtra and lot of travel with my parents i think maybe i don't recollect exactly but 
that uh, liking for structures started from nice i know Since someone you mentions delhi yeah. delhi was like the hotbed of modern architecture in yeah, yeah, india at that time right yeah. So Bombay is nothing compared nothing. to what Delhi was doing at that time. Yeah. We just had structures which were made by Britishers and British and that. Yeah, yeah. And all those people yeah, yeah. doing certain big, big good stuff. stuff. Amazing at stuff. That time. For that time, it was superb. Yeah. And so yeah. I remember I went to Chandigarh as a kid. Okay. I was like yeah, tremendously stunning. inspired. And I went to Chandigarh when I was in my fourth standard and fifth standard. I think Chandigarh was done by Lake Kabuzia, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think that had some impact. Maybe you don't realize that. Don't realize that. What was it? Part of the feeling that in the subconscious mind, one structure which I definitely, definitely remember as a kid. I stayed in Delhi for two years. Okay. And my parents used to take me to Pragati Maidan for all these exhibitions. Correct. Okay. We didn't have family there because my dad was working in in Delhi, so family was obviously back home. Okay. We didn't have lots of things to do. Correct. In Delhi, we were new. So we used to move around in the city, and Pragati okay. Maidan is one place we used to visit very regularly. Okay, I was hugely inspired. I think I was I was very very uh, you know disappointed when they Absolutely grounded Pragati down. Maidan. Absolutely, Absolutely sad. I I must say on camera that <clears throat> I think they did a very wrong thing by demolishing Delhi. I don't think land has ever been an, an issue. issue. Yeah. They should have retained Pragati Maidan just for the fact that. It was a classic structure for yeah, for yeah, those times. Yeah, and it, it lasted. Everyone long. has fond memories. I'm sure if you ask a Delhiite, he'll be he'll he would have been happy to retain uh, Pragati, Pragati, Pragati Maidan. Maidan if if a poll yeah. had been uh, done. So yeah. Pragati Maidan was one structure which definitely had a huge impact on me. I I visited Delhi uh, much later throughout my uh, schooling yeah. and architecture days. I used to trek a lot. Okay. So I used to go up north, and every okay. time it used to be through yeah. Delhi. Through Delhi, yeah. We, we had fr- friends and family because we had stayed. So I think there were a couple of times when we stopped over in Delhi, and then you move around. Oh. And like you said, Delhi had probably the best yes. of uh, institutional architecture uh, in India those days. So I think we need to have some kind of a revival of conservation yeah. for these modern structures, right? I People think. are only, uh, you know. Obsessed with conserving monuments which are like thousand years old and five hundred years old, but, but still the, those are not protected. The modern, yeah, like still they are lying. Pragati Maidan is a monument. Huh? Today, yeah, 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 they're they're are, they're are they're they're for an architect, it would be like you know a museum for us. Yeah, even yeah. If it's not like usable today. Yeah, but but you still can it reuse has those its structures. Aspect. You can you know revitalize Imagine them. Imagine all these shows today that are happening. Yeah, been preserved. All these shows that are happening, the design-related shows. Imagine an ID or a foyer happening in Pragati Maidan. With that kind of space, nah. yeah, the feel would have been certain as everything was there. Yeah. Astec used to happen yeah, yeah. there. Lots of events used yeah. to happen there. Absolutely. Yeah. I think if they build something new now, I think it's something which is. I'm sure the yeah. new also will be a fab project, yeah. but I think the new could have been <laughs> built in a separate yeah. area, yeah. and this could have had its own charm. Destroyed. Why destroy? Yeah. It nah. Was been built with such such pain and such I meticulous. I think Raj Rewal did some fabulous structures in in Delhi, and this was one of the. Yeah. good the best yeah. was different yeah. very different yeah so i think structures had a had an impact because i traveled a lot and when yeah. you travel you get exposed to a lot of different forms Subject. of uh, monuments etc and design has in general okay. and how you guys met in college because i have someone that i know i mean it's a design office called praveen avati and associates his partner and him they they got they, they were friends when they were in the line you know they were they were standing in the queue to fill forms and that's when they met and they they're still together a very old chaps you know they they're still there together so how did you meet him jj is we a small were not back definitely did not meet in the line because this guy didn't turn up for the admission <laughs> oh, okay okay interesting so, yeah <laughs> so <laughs> that is a full story in jj still so we want to know that story now <laughs> that should come up yeah please sir <laughs> so what i think 30 odd admissions used to happen in the open yeah, category open category Correct. Okay. and they had some uh, I don't know what, uh, why they had this stuff. They used to give admission to, I think, the first eleven in the first round. First round, second and round, and then the next second. round and third round. For some reason, I don't know. Okay. That, mm. It was the first, I think, first or second. One of the very early, very early uh, batches of batches when office. the whole system went into a computer. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So this, online uh, list uh, lagta tha. Okay, first thirty so get the choice of picking the college. So most would pick JJ first. first All right. And very rarely you would find one person. Leaving the admission and the thirty second in the list getting, so it used okay. to be like thirty one seats. So first thirty one will take JJ and move forward. Maybe okay. one or two okay. uh, will yeah. will move. 
so they used to have this thing like 11 in the first round and then the next round so i don't think i don't remember all mera kuch assuming chalo 15 16 नंबर रहेगा सो आई सेड 15 16 का तो नंबर आने ही नहीं वाला है ना पहले 11 में तो 11 में ले लेंगे तो जाके क्या करेंगे माय मॉम वाज वेरी शी वाज शी लाइक शी लॉस्ट इट शी व्हाट्स रॉन्ग विद यू आई हैड टू प्ले अ लॉट ऑफ फुटबॉल दैट टाइम आई हैड टू प्ले फुटबॉल ऑन द बीच आई हैड सम ग्रेट फ्रेंड्स एंड फुल टपोरी गिरी सो आई टोल्ड माय मॉम आई सेड आई एम नॉट कमिंग फॉर द एडमिशन बिकॉज़ देयर इज नो सेंस का मिलने ही नहीं वाला है तुम तो जाके ऐसे टाइम पास करके क्या है शी तो लॉस्ट इट शी वेंट and imagine the if i was let's say 14 yeah. this is girl who is 13 my mom is 14 yeah. and another girl is 15 and both of them are wondering why is <laughs> why this lady here for admission <laughs> <laughs> so both of them are dear friends of both the girls and they always taunt me ki yaar tu namuna tha tabhi bhi so you guys you guys met in college because because you used to hang out together Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I really can't remember we, the first time. Yeah, we it's, met. I mean, it was used to be ragged a lot. Yeah. So first, okay. so my now used to be like crazy. Yeah. Uh, college. That ragging was different. Ah, uh, very yeah. different. Yeah. <laughs> nothing, <laughs> no, nothing organic. <laughs> organic. <laughs> it was completely. Yeah. So then, 2006 to 2023. Um, can you can you brief us how the journey is and how it is important to start your own firm and then. take things forward of course you you guys had good 3 4 5 years of experience before yeah, joining so in because i think what what takes uh, to start a firm is all round skills i think some people might be exceptional at design some people might be exceptional at uh, other aspects of work technically brilliant all architects who are in practice will agree with this that it requires an all round skill set even things like today to manage your money or to manage yeah. the finances Finance. to manage the the accounts okay. that plays a big you need to know role. all the trades know, that's everything that's yeah. fees collection is obviously a big challenge because you, you know ensure that fees are collected on time because that's how you finally churn your your business to keep the art constant keep the art constant in the sense growing Learning, not yeah, let yeah. not let the ideation drop and all that requires i think a lot of uh, different skill sets so you might be of course there will be practices who are people who are brilliant at one but i'm sure they are good at at the other aspects also so it's not a 9 to 5 job yeah. 9 to 5 job still with limited skill sets you can do i'm not trying to say that everyone who's had a good practice are brilliant but yeah they i think they're all i would i would put it this way they're more more all rounders than uh, having Specialist. one specific yeah. brilliant skill yes. set So even if they have one specific brilliant, the the other yes. tick boxes are also in the right right place to manage people, to manage the team. Yeah, uh, that's the most important most thing. Most I think Varun sir spoke be about this also. Be it fifteen, twenty, or be it two hundred. Yeah. Finally, takes the same yeah. skill set to manage, manage. people. Yeah. No so people management because, because you're taking care of. It's not a corporate job yeah. where you assign and who yeah, yeah. kar raha hai na. There is a day to day interaction. And Maybe. by the time team gets accustomed to the, your way of narration. Yeah. Again, some some people are dropping out. Yes, Again, explaining absolutely. everything. Yeah. That's a process absolutely. which is. Absolutely. Absolutely. Forget team absolutely. members. Even yeah. contractors or vendors are yeah, yeah, the same. Yeah, same. Hmm. So for for you to understand when I come to your store, yeah. Uh, for yeah. you to understand, it will take probably two three visits. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. In a big store like this, you know, more you understand. What are you looking for? What's your? Yeah, it's much narration. easier for you to deal with us and 100%. much easier for us. Basic, to deal yeah, with you know, you don't like marbles, something yeah, yeah. new, yeah, some about stones, and that's that's yeah. that's how so it is. It's all yeah. about True. man management. It's yeah. all about managing people than uh, the other other aspects, and of course, the other aspects are are important. And uh, in a city like Mumbai, obviously, to strike the right balance yes. in the the finance part, you know, what size of office to have, how much yeah. to invest. Yeah. We yeah. never Agreed. thought this Agreed. in college. You, you never in, you never thought that what is the ratio of your investments mm-hmm. for a design firm these are ways what you earn and sometimes people go drastically wrong and sometimes people are super conservative yeah. if yeah. people Overboard. are able to get it right yeah. or maybe when they get it right they have, they are like 20 years already oh, already gone yeah. through practice so even today for us it's it's extremely difficult for us to know whether we bought the right size of office whether okay. we invested okay. the right amount sometimes we feel ki are come padega you know and now we are doing an office and whether we will be able to afford another one we we will be positively thinking of food but ye already office bana hua hai to leave it and, and then, move then going to yeah so it's always that which area to buy and where yeah. to be located lots of things so 
finance i think uh, we we architects are not taught uh, finance yeah. at all which so, we most of us learn it our own practice hard only way. or learn yeah. so not business thing, one. one thing what people generally miss in this field is that it's finally a business hmm yeah. right whatever you do you start your own practice you are a business, business. man correct you may be called a consultant correct but, but you are business. finally business. running a business yeah. so the skill sets you require to run a business is something you are never taught of you are never aware of yeah. you not even like imagined ki ye sab mujhe seekhna padega yeah. and how to, to manage it and how to for me to actually have a design practice right. bolne ke liye design practice hai yeah. but i need so much of you know very knowledge for it yeah. to happen is something that i think our education system, system. and also uh, role models and all of those people need to talk about yeah. financial literacy like you say yeah. i was i was just flowing in the same money. direction i wanted to ask if if you want to because of course it's been 20 23 years 22 years more or less that you guys have what is that you feel that needs to be subjects when it comes to architecture needs to be added because of course now is the right time to speak about it you know 20 years is a, is a big time that you have yes. been there in the trade what are the subjects that needs to be there in in, in the colleges that the people are going now I think we had we had great varied subjects in college. I think I I I remember. I think they had covered it quite quite well for that those times. But to answer to your question now, finance definitely. Okay. Of course, you, finance is such a big thing that you, you don't can't. require anything to know just the basics. You have basic uh, basic Understand. gist of things. Assuming let's say assuming that a lot of people will move into practice. Yeah. Okay. So practice related related a little bit of finance could Correct. be. Correct. It could be just workshops for. Maybe basic accounting few yeah. weeks of accounting yeah the taxation structure mm. or how uh, what to do at what stages Stage. to build yeah. up a practice yeah. what sizes of offices how much to invest um, we were, what we are the lost. ratios yeah to the initially team, to we were lost yeah. we didn't know ki how much to invest in an yeah, office agreed. so whether to go on rent or to buy right. there will yeah. be two two uh, yeah. stories always but I think students can be exposed to both the stories. Yeah. Rent is this way of dealing with it. things, and you know, owning it owning helps its own. Creating an asset, yeah. which is a different part. So a little bit of finance, maybe. So obviously, you learn on the job, right? We learned on the job. Correct. Yeah. 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 Yeah
right i remember when we passed out of college we had zero knowledge zero knowledge yeah. absolute zero knowledge nothing of what is a tile what is marble you know what is the, the same thing that we uh, get what sanitary <laughs> fittings and what blah blah we get this a lot on this podcast so we very zero knowledge then like, this is not from your batch this is very recent i think 5 years ago someone graduated there's nothing you know, said we don't know what is pu so on site <laughs> on site visit jo tha na wo bahut rare tha and okay. those could have been managed because again nothing to take away from we had a good i think college we had a great time in academics but because we had so many professionals who were part of our teaching industry mm-hmm. there was like a fixed on on campus uh, faculty and there were obviously visiting you know, visiting, okay. visiting faculty, professionals yeah. yeah so i think the system could use their expertise and uh, let expertise. students move out and abhi aaj i see students batch going into classic marble factory yeah I understand वो टाइम पे क्लासिक मार्बल नहीं था बट कुछ तो मार्बल था मार्बल कंपनी और हाउ मार्बल इज क्यूरेटेड इवन लेट से ट्वेंटी ईयर्स बैक इट वॉज डन इन इन अ डिफरेंट फॉर्मैट बट फॉर दैट टाइम इट वॉज अ रेलिवेंट फॉर्मैट मालूम ही नहीं ब्रेड लोफ जैसा कट होता है गैंग्स ऑफ एन एक्सेट्रा ना ऑफकोर्स you have great technology and yeah. everything so i think yeah exposure to materials could have been taught i think just to put it there's so finances is one thing exposure is one thing to to lot yes. of materials so material is, I think is also professional one practice thing. is there you have that full semester but i think it has to be used in a more dynamic uh, manner rather than just going into an office and office. Yeah. learning because कोई बंदा ऑफिस में गया वो बेचारा वो ट्रेसिंग ही से रहा था तीन महीना दोस डेज व्हाट हैपेंस राइट कोई चेंजेस कर रहा है कुछ का टीम में व्हाट इज जॉब इज देयर ऑन हैंड राइट नाउ या आज जो भी काम है किसी और को नहीं दे सकते हैं इज गिवन टू द ट्रेनी और दी इंटर इट्स लाइक समबडी कम्स टू अस एंड सेस कि इंटर्न है भेज दो ठीक है एंड इफ आई हैव लेट्स से सम साइट हैपनिंग एट वर्ल्डविंड स्पीड and i need a supervisor then school ek kaam kar beta idhar aa tu side pe baith ke teen mahina kya seekhega wo side pe seekh lega but background basic drawing knowledge and the basic ideation need is completely not available so i think that could be taught in maybe five semesters and visits outside etc i'm sure the new colleges are doing i think rachna college has recently started with pulin shah sir's podcast that we did he just mentioned that he's a visiting faculty at rachna where uh, he is teaching luxury interior to to uh, to the it's amazing yeah. that's amazing going and, and teaching them what minotti is what poltron of fro is as a brand what yeah, is piandre yeah. so as a brand we were never of course wo time pe india mein aaj different available mein the brand forget the architect last 7 years everyone started understanding the architect student malum tha itne saal pehle last 10 12 years everyone yeah. started but understanding brand whatever was relevant that time that should have been, been taught, yeah, yeah. Uh, taught as materials correct Let's speak about yeah. design philosophy. We've spoken a lot about your uh, your journey. What is your office's design? Because I I clearly see on your website also there are two different divisions that you're working on. You know, there's an architectural division, there's an interior design yes. division. Correct. What is your design philosophy? How your office operates, and what is to take from the so, space dynamics? Honestly, uh, <clears throat> I think with with the course of practice, most people will agree that design philosophies get a little lost over over a period of time you know, okay you okay rarely get to design something that's uh, i would uh, say diluted yeah diluted or sometimes okay. off yeah, the yeah. track because you might like a certain thing but uh, maybe the developer or uh, the client and yeah. user is not in sync there and, yeah. and he's always right because finally it's his home correct oh. it's his clubhouse or it's his building that's uh, doing we're doing a lot of work in delhi now where obviously okay. the style Uh, is a bit different is Mumbai, a south different or western is very different is very different yeah. so for me to throw my ideology or let's say space dynamics throws its ideology to the client it may not work there you know yeah. sometimes you can just ring a surprise saying it might work but it's a it's a it risk which yeah. a developer is not uh, willing to take it's, similarly yeah. uh, we've seen lot of uh, clients coming with, with us very set uh, we fixed what process, what is ye chahiye waisa chahiye and that time it becomes difficult to so yeah i think we try to get their thoughts and try to mix it a little with our uh, ideology yeah if you ask us our core ideology will always be less is more we firmly yeah. believe in minimalism yeah we can okay. so i think we grew up with like he was saying na group looking at charles korea i'm like idolizing people like yeah. charles korea okay. kengo kuma and mm. all those people 
yes saying ki yaar wow this wow. is what we want to do is what Tadawando. we started so that one always Tadawando. remains like right? uh, so the, the top guy for us you know, uh, right? what Shiruban happened or, down the years was that i mean we imbibed all of that but then we came out with something that maybe marries that in some way yeah, to okay. whatever yeah. contemporary yes. feel we want or whatever so. is the ideology prevailing but uh, at the background if you ask us our thought process still so to keep it very clean yeah. very <coughs> minimal straight line no ostentations if you ask us yeah. right? personal choice personal choice but yeah like he said yeah. lot of things are now doing the, the marketing it, yeah, right it's about okay. marketing all the developers now come with a marketing brief to, yeah Yes. our guys want this product mm. they so want then, doing a, you know finally you have yeah, to yeah. deliver that product doing a project in goa which is which is not even portuguese it's like a mix of a lot of style but Same. predominantly hint of portuguese okay. architecture okay. probably that's not our uh, forte but forte but still we are doing it because yeah. it's commercially viable a and also now as we grow in in our years of practice we realize that we also want to do a different genre of Work. Okay. We don't want to stick to that. But yes, if someone lets us do what we want okay. to do, we'll probably do it in the, the simplest possible Simple. yeah. form. Again, Charles Correa influenced or Tadawando influenced work is something which is very dear to our heart. Nice. I think um, um, I, this is something which is which is told by a very veteran um, architect because you have a smaller team. I think I don't know how you guys will relate with me, but uh, someone who's a very veteran architect, you told me that you know when I started the firm. I had the ideology of doing lot of you know creative work. मैंने एक दो प्रोजेक्ट किया मेरे पास काम ज़्यादा आने लगा. फिर मैंने एक टीम रखी. फिर मेरे को टीम को सरवाइव करना था. फिर मैंने सब काम लेने चालू किए. फिर मेरा एक पॉइंट का कॉपी पेस्ट होना चालू हो गया काम. And now somewhere down the line that that whole creative brain that started this company has now become a full-fledged so commercial company where he's, he's gone into mass that production happens. of design and and architecture. That happens somewhere. Correct. We try we try to uh, you know. Uh, kind of let that not happen in a, in a complete fabric we try to be specific he will try to get in our style or a specific client style that yeah. we did a villa which is a lot influenced from the balinese style now okay. but we've tried to put in our minimalism somewhere yeah. in the in the whole process and yeah sometimes they are successful doing it sometimes the clients thought kind of uh, uh, overtakes the whole overtakes the whole thing but yeah, i think yeah. the idea is to finally Uh, i think for a successful practice the idea is to keep the end user happy because ultimately we as designers are going to be only involved in the process oh, so of ideation mm. in the structure so be it a villa or yeah. a house or a show flat or a club house club finally the end user that uh, needs to be satisfied Agreed. and to get that the essence of the end user's happiness no, is i think most important for the designer i think that makes sense so there are yeah. architects practices whatever who will impose a style yeah right yeah. yeah there there are practices like that but finally if the client is not happy living in that space or experience in the space you've right. not done your job right absolutely right? you are you are providing a service to satisfy so the client's needs if those are not satisfied yeah. then you're not yeah. doing your job really because he's going to stay forever there exactly. Exactly. so that's what we learned uh, somewhere not midway very initial part of our our career and i think we graduated well through those uh, okay. thoughts to understand every time what the client wants sometimes yes we try to uh, sometimes we realize that those sometimes the client's thoughts themselves don't match the kind of philosophy that they wanted mm. initially or they started with some idea and by that correct yeah. yeah. so we try mm. to get them on board at the end they realize that we may be a little dominating somewhere in the Process. process by the end they also agree that okay that domination ultimately that led to system. something which is more creative yeah. and something which is more acceptable to them at, yeah. at the end uh, i just have one thing you you guys have been practicing for for for, for you know i think we can it's not less to say two decades now that's, that's how we can put that. it yes. more than that yeah. it seems so yeah. <clears throat> just uh, wanted to understand koi aisa site tha you know that that was this was that you remember now which was uh, it was it was something that it might be hard now and when you today you sit and you you laugh about it you know that's that's the lots actually because honestly as are not one side but uh, yeah one side recently which we did a, a big penthouse for a what 5000 odd square feet and we actually had to come out of the box and design something which is very different 
Okay. And what we normally okay. do, so it is a fusion of modern and classical yeah. with okay. very clear uh, brief from the client that it should not look classical and it should not look modern. So right. the client was very happy to appoint us and to do a project which clearly was not on our uh, profile. Okay. Yeah. So it was actually, come to think of it from his point of view, it was a risk which he was taking, yeah. but only because he was the feedback that he got from the yeah, other yeah, clients yeah. that these guys are extremely, you know, uh, on track when it comes to design, understanding right. of design, he appointed us. And then he got us to do something which we had never done before. Classical, right. okay. we'd never tried. Even, even uh, we call it, let's say, fusion classic. Yeah. Okay. We'd never done fusion classic. And ultimately, yeah. the product is something which we, we love. We've not done it again. Yeah. Okay. We might do it again, but we, we I think we did a great job uh, on that particular project, yeah. it tested our design skills to move us out of the you know comfort zone. Okay. Yeah. But I think that was worth it. Nice. Sometimes the client helps you to move Agreed. out of your comfort Agreed. zone. Yeah. He pushes you. Yeah. We were you know very clear through our early days of practice. We are not going to do moldings and carvings. Okay. We will not do <laughs> that. That was not our. Right? So uh, we had taste. consistently stuck to that. Ki ye to nahi clear karna lines. Hai. Hmm. But finally here we did. But the result is so subtle yeah. and I mean, from I'm saying it myself, but mm. it's so subtle and so elegant yeah. that we said, yeah, we should have done this more. Maybe and a lot of clients yeah. who we have shown the profile later have actually said that brilliant. I don't want this, but it seems very Brilliant. nice to the eye what yeah. you've okay. done and as a style, very happy looking at the, the pictures. Yeah. I may not be able to stay in a house like this yeah. okay. genuinely then there are some clients who have said Kiar, we can we make something like this and we tell them that we're not here to do the same thing again but we'll try to work out something which is maybe a slight deviation from what okay. we've uh, done there yeah but so that was one project where we i think came out of our comfort zone okay. and uh, a drastic change in in the style that we did uh, nice. before when we're speaking about projects can we can we speak about project which is close to your heart uh, I think now it will change the whole thing, you know, something which is classical design <laughs> for you guys. And then obviously, a lot of clients who, who see uh, this podcast and hear us talking about this house might be surprised. Yeah. That, you know, this style, we did a house in Parla which was exactly minimalism. So, it's got the least amount of materials. Yeah. Right. Least. Yeah. So, the whole house is white. Okay. It's got walnut wood, yeah. white ceilings, no color, just splashes of some artwork. Art. Yeah. And minimalism to another level yeah okay so there's there's nothing apart from white walnut wood and a uh, few beige furniture hints yeah and okay. some black subtle stone uh, somewhere like so, this black slate stone, slate stone somewhere asset. and i think it it's a it's a very different side than what we yeah. did again the client wanted something like that okay and okay. immediately when the brief came to us we kind of we were in sync that this is something which so i i would say that uh, if Tadawando would do a interiors, he would do it <laughs> that way. way. Yeah, yeah. I, I know I'm speaking uh, <laughs> too much, but <laughs> yeah, if if let's assume that Tadawando ke project ke under interiors okay. karna hoga, uh -huh. to kaise so, karna hoga? Okay, okay, so that would be <laughs> nice. something. You know, so, so that there was, was also this bungalow that we did in Nashik, mm -hmm. which was the first architectural commission uh, yeah. to say yeah. for for us, which actually got built was also something that uh, was so true to what we wanted to do, right? So right from the beginning, we, we had this modern, straight Same line, thing. planes and go sab mein karna hai. And sometimes the, the clients are so, uh, what do you call it, agreeable to what you want to do that you excel in that. Yeah. Right? Yes. So this one came out perfect the way, the, way we wanted, the first yeah. sketch okay. that we uh, wanted. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. Aisa hai, aisa hi banna chahiye, exactly the way we had designed it came out. That and happens. I think that is the way it That does also. not happen too yeah. often, right? Yeah. Does not it happen. doesn't happen yes. too often. Very so small tight that, plot in Nashik, but yeah. I think the way the the interiors and the architecture structure speaks with each other, collaborates with each other in that project, I think that was uh, that was great. We uh -huh. enjoyed it thoroughly because I think sometimes people get lost with with the structure being uh, magnificent the way. Mm, it should be, it should. and sometimes the interior does just doesn't uh, collate really yeah, well with okay. that. 
you i think we we got to use the outside and inside spaces very okay very well because that it was conceptualized very initially and i think it came out uh, nice so i think the the connect of the interior and architecture is very important even in, in every project and that i think happened there very well this was years years back yeah, yeah. something that, which is recent again another penthouse we did in uh, in dadar very simple and uh, we had lot of uh, in the sense agree to disagree and very positive arguments with the client okay, okay. and uh, with the way of uh, doing the project and he still remains a very dear friend yeah and but sometimes through the project you you don't agree on certain issues but ultimately we we kept both uh, you know mm-hmm. as a client he maintained his stance we maintained and i think what came out was very very close to what we wanted okay. not minimalism to its uh, yeah peak See. i would say but in the current urban format where people want their houses to be opulent yeah and uh, we wanted it to be minimalist mm-hmm. i think yeah. we've been able to do that very well and although like i said sometimes you and the client are not on the same platform but both of us at the end of the day uh, remained friends yes. and we respected each which other's uh, opinion which is very important, important. Which is important. Uh, every time you can't agree with yeah. with someone yeah, and move yeah, forward yeah. i think it's it's very yeah. important to yeah. very uh, professionally yeah. in a very warm yeah. genuine manner constructive criticism constructive criticism yeah that's, i think we I think both were important. able to yeah. do that yeah. and i think the the house just uh, yeah. speaks for itself yeah. the, the way the spaces have come out it's again not huge it's just about 3 and 1/2 thousand square feet but i think the flow throughout the house the, the minimalism yet that slight opulence i think is is very uh, rightly yeah. personified so that's one one place which is dear to heart nice so this kind of balance is, is something that we always try to achieve yeah right because we don't want it to be uh so much influenced by what we think that the client doesn't feel at home mm. at the same time as a professional you have to advise him uh some things are not right correct is not right. something you should be doing correct so the balance between these two is i think really important for you to be successful uh-huh. also nowadays uh, i think it's becoming very important for designers to continuously stretch the boundaries of design and create something new all the time because gone are the times when people are uh, you know accepting i don't want to name firms but a firm is doing a kind of fabric of work and that continues okay. in most projects i know what you're talking about you can about, you can yeah, see the project and say kya re ye to iska kaam hai yeah and most projects today like so. most uh, clients we are meeting today the first feedback that they give us is that you know we we are happy to work with you because when we see our your profile we see that every pro- project is versatile or versatile designing is happening maybe it's not our uh, yeah. our design ideology but maybe it's the the client that wants us to do something different so every we try that change. every time it's it's different uh, we're doing a house which is completely curves which is very very different than what we normally do we just showed that as a presentation to a new client and he loved it i didn't see it actually I, because normally i study the entire page i've not seen any i i didn't even ask curves. Yeah. I, i didn't even ask curves to you guys yeah, yeah. so we're doing a house <laughs> okay. which is full we, we call it the flow house okay, okay. and hopefully by <laughs> this diwali it should be completed nice okay. and just the ideation the slides the initial few 3ds that we've done are looking fab yeah. it'll it'll be one of its kind when i when we put it on our insta page people will will be in doubt that yes page that is sneaky yeah i'm sure yeah, never right. <laughs> nothing with right. right. <laughs> so this is what we we were for a new client presentation and he saw everything and just asked us uh, the project architect for the developer have you cross boundaries and done something which you've not done before and we showed him the entire ppt presentation of this house correct and he Amazing. loved it yeah. he said ki yeah matlab you you guys are uh, you know ready to adapt to a new uh, brief that comes up. speaking about adaptation sir i think uh, because i've i've been connected to this industry for a while, for a while now i I'm, i'm seeing lot of design offices are phasing off also uh is it because of adaptation or or what is this what is the what is the trend now because lot of offices were doing Are extremely good at one point in time, and currently we don't even, you know, we we don't even hear the names. That's 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 there. I'm not naming the firms that I are there. Don't. But adaptation is 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 it in, in your field? Thing, is it important? I think commercially viable practices because uh-huh. lot of I don't know people move into turnkey practices. Yeah. Right. 
uh, I think the two different templates of uh, different ball game altogether. We we are although we we are in the in the business as such, but still the art is something which is more yeah. dominant. Yeah. Yeah. So people yeah. who went into those turnkey practices sometimes hit the the, yeah. the road sure. yeah. and dead ends, I would say. And uh, people have constantly kept kept the design angle yeah. going and. I think it's a passion driven industry so if the if the design passion makes you design something new all the crossing boundaries yeah. of what probably we had very similar design styles when we were working in college on our presentations or yeah. that yeah. I would say that Charles Korea again and Tadawando influence but now if you look at our own work we we will no. be surprised. My wife sometimes sees some sketches on my board sure. when I work from home and she says, Ki, this is not what <laughs> not. you know I had expected you to do. But I tell her this is what is the need of the yeah. hour to break yeah. boundaries and do and uh, be more adaptable something. to the requirements yeah. and you you won't be surprised if Zahadi has become such a big name and you won't be surprised today somebody coming to us or any firm and saying mm. that I want a house inspired uh, from the, the flow that Zahadi Agreed. creates. Yes. Agreed. Very possible. Why it not? is happening in Delhi. It is one of the designers who is doing a Zahadi and, inspired uh, Then somebody who is doing more straight line, yeah. minimalist work, whether that f and imagine that becomes a, the craze Correct. and you will have another dozen clients coming and asking for that because you and have somebody who is not ready to adapt to that is probably missing out yeah. on the on the job. Yeah. Yeah. So we will do two parts. First is about uh, about a, a quirky rapid fire round. It's more of a psychometric yeah. test. I think I I don't know. I'm assuming there will be two different answers coming from both of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we, we have it's that all job. about surprises. Surprise. Yeah, you never know what's <laughs> happening. Yeah, yeah. And uh, after that, we we have a session where uh, who does it best? You know, yeah. because we have we have a duo on on the couch. So first, I'll I'll start with the rapid fire round. It's it's not rapid. You can think about it, but it's 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 kind of rapid. Hmm. So, if you're, this is the first question I start with. If Space Dynamics had a theme song, which song it would be? I'm a little. Okay. Uh, <laughs> my music is only with the Kishore Kumar songs. Which is also which okay. Is, yeah. Okay, you can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you can sing as well. In yeah, we, 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 had, we had Chalo Chale Mitwa also. We have a couple of songs. Kisi ki dhun mein. So that. Chala jata in, in the real sense of design evolved. You know. Nice, nice, nice. You agree, sir? I agree. I was trying to think of something Please. nothing comes to mind. Yeah. So we'll go with him. <laughs> so one point for sir now. Huh? <laughs> okay. If your uh, designs were a travel destination. If sorry, come again. If please. your designs was a travel destination. Was a travel destination. Or a travel destination, but what what would it be? A famous travel destination or it could be a touristy place. That comes to your mind when when you have a when you have a design office. Uh, something very unlike our uh, studio, but uh, for me it would be Santorini. Okay. okay. Uh, He's about to say Greece. See. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the way the sun shines bright yeah, right. most part of the year, and you have lovely outdoor yeah. Yeah, spaces, the Bougainville on once. I I actually when we used to discuss about the new office. Okay. For me, a dream office is where I could sit outdoors. Okay. okay. I like sitting in the blazing sun, which where most people run yeah. indoors. <laughs> okay. I, I feel the sun gets a lot of energy into you. Agreed. And okay. uh, nice weather, which Greece is Greece blessed is, with yeah. most of the times. Uh, healthy food, which is a big yeah. tick box for me. Yeah. And uh, great flow of outdoor and like I mentioned in the earlier part, yeah. great yeah. flow of outdoor and indoor spaces. Yeah. I think the whole caves of Santorini um, and the way they amazing. move out into it's, it's those. It's a different uh, experience. Yeah. Imagine in one of those decks with a table and you're right. I, I think the best of uh, <laughs> me at least would come out in those, those nice. spaces. Nice. Yeah. nice. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, I, I just love the way the, the sea and the white play I with each other. I mean, yeah. that's I've, I've, I've also world. done a little bit of, of backtracking on, um, you know, backpacking trip on, on in Greece. There's a place called Katakolon. Katakolon. Yeah. And then from there, there's a small sit town called Strefi. Oh, no. I've mm. it's, it's beautiful, you know, you, you have roses on the street, you, you have, you know. That's it, one place which yeah. you can do multiple. Okay. So, we went to back to back years to Greece. Yeah. Okay. We loved it so much that we went all over again. It's amazing. It's <laughs> beautiful. Yes. Uh, cool. Moving to the next question. If... Uh, sorry, design your ideal workspace in three words. Ideal workspace in three words. Three things that you need. Workspace? Yeah. yeah. 
first would be outdoor. Okay. okay. I think that we knew from the last yes. question that it's going to come. <laughs> Two would be green. Okay. okay. And three would be sky. Of course, outdoor and sky would be the same. So I'll have to pick one more. Yeah. So it would be outdoor for sure, green. Which is outdoor in between nature. Yeah. And green. Yeah. I mean, that is still out. And uh, technology. Okay. Okay. So I don't know how these three will get connected, but yeah, definitely. Okay. Nice. So imagine sitting outdoors, but still you have all the the new technology in place where you can do a Zoom call because obviously when you're going outdoors, you you want to be away. Like away how a few studios have moved to Alibag, but they need to be connected. Correct. So you yes. need to be connected with great uh, technology to work from there. Yeah. So nice. I think yeah, outdoors, green and technology would be my workspace. So I would add music to this. Ah. But unfortunately, we've not had that kind of workplace okay. till now okay. because uh, it's difficult to control how people play music in the office. Yeah. Okay. So it becomes like a point of, uh, you know, some kind of manmutao between us and the staff. What is this? What is this? What is this? And stuff like that. But for me, ideally, when I'm working, I would love to have some music playing. Ah. Interesting. But yours is also the same, right? You need to have... Are you an absolutely. outdoor person? I would say good light. Yeah. And the lighting mm -hmm. is absolutely important. It has to be fresh. The workplace has to... Uh, has to energize you. Yeah. Right? It has to inspire yeah, so you. That is absolutely... Yeah, that's one word even I would like. Energy. energy. I think yeah, energy. some spaces have that inherent... In There's a vibe, uh, right? Vibe, energy yeah. to it. And I think it most outdoor... Well-designed outdoor spaces will get... Because all natural elements, you have beautiful sky, you have, imagine a nice, I've been saying bougainvillea, any nice flowering yeah, plant, yeah. Shade, shade, natural shade through a tree and a lovely weather. What else do you want? Why would you come in and sit in <laughs> Speaking about energy, I'm deviating from this free flow, right? So we can, we can yeah. deviate. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We, uh, I'm speaking about energy, are you, are you guys spiritual or, or how does it go in? in in your day to day, I don't day know what spirituality is, but I think for me, spirituality is uh, is uh, a good overall life. Eat healthy, uh, exercise, work hard, uh, socialize well, have do things that uh, you like mm. that kind of relieve your stress. Meet people who are like minded and who whose company you enjoy. Yeah. I think all this combines to a spiritual world. You yeah. really, I, I met a very interesting gentleman and he was explaining me about meditation. Yeah, okay. And he, he firmly said, very senior guy and very learned, very well-read uh, gentleman, very successful businessman. And he said, ki, very casual chat after work we were having, ha having and he said, I, I don't believe, he was saying, I don't believe that he doesn't believe in meditating in a room. Okay. For him, he says eating good food and I thought that, yeah, this, these were my thoughts, but I could actually never put them across mm -hmm. the way he did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Having good food, he exercises a decent bit in terms of yoga and stuff. He enjoys his work, so he spends a lot of time working. working. And working towards the uh, betterment of his team and overall in a holistic manner. Yeah. And he says, that is meditation for me. I don't need to go into a closed box. And he said, with due respect, somebody who is doing that kind of meditation, I'm happy yeah. for him. Yeah. Really a meditation, yes, sub cheese mm. is meditation. So I think mm. for me, spirituality is uh, being with the right people, friends, family, most yes. important, spending time with them, doing things that ultimately you enjoy. Because that keeps your mood uh, upbeat. Yeah. That helps you to get your work life in a much That's better true. position. Yeah. All this, I think, is, is, is the essence of spirituality. For, me. for you, sir? Uh, for me, spiritual basically means being true to your conscience. Okay. Nice. Every person has a conscience which you could say it's a greater power or whatever. But there is some moral compass in, in you that says that this is wrong. Yes, I am. Correct. Right. So, if yeah. you be true to that, Everything I mean, that is me. being spiritual. Because you nice. know subconsciously, I am doing the right thing or the wrong thing. Listen to it, 
I mean, there's nothing better yes. than that. If you can, True. it's difficult if to do. Can, but I, agree. But, yeah, I, I mean, can. as today's world, can, sometimes it's it's difficult. a little difficult. difficult. We can't live life like saints, yeah, I mean, but yeah, can't be ideal. Whatever ideal, <laughs> always, whatever but, way but at least can. balance consciousness. Uh, yes, there should be some balance. Yes. True. Okay, moving on to the question. Uh, Okay, now this is interesting. Uh, if your designs were a vehicle, what would they be like? S just to give examples, sports car, vintage bike or something else. Just giving context to it. Would be a vehicle? Yeah. Batmobile. Batmobile. Bat Bat <laughs> I'm a Star Wars fan. Okay. 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 So that's what immediately comes to mind. Okay. The way they've designed, I mean, uh, whoever yeah, designed yeah, it, yeah, I would yeah, yeah. assume Lucas's vision, but the way they've designed every at that is point is relevant yeah. today. Imagine the same vehicles today are being done in a better uh, CGI so format, but about. the designs are still the same. Mm. Right? Yeah. And you relate to it even today. Yeah, yeah. This is the future, future, which is after maybe, I don't know, 50 years, 40 years yeah. More than, since, yeah. since it came. Yeah. So we so would love to make yeah. our designs that kind of timeless. So I would even say the, the very initial design of Porsche. If you look at, we went to the Porsche Museum and the timeless design. Tier old design. Timeless event. design. He is so bloody timeless. Yeah. 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 Even in today's context, it you you feel that this was 50 years ago. And yeah. the progression that they have shown, sure. the new Porsche also seems to be like in that same thing, but it's so is much yeah. advanced. Yeah. So yeah, I would say the the Porsche for yes. me that keeping timelessness, they still have so much advanced technology and the whole uh, model has evolved, evolved but, but kept that essence uh, in the right. Yeah. Now I think I, I have the next question. <laughs> if your job title were a superhero name, what would it be? Job title would be a superhero, superhero name. 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 Or a superhero. superhero, I don't know. I, James Bond has always been. Yeah? Yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> I get that vibe also. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> huh? So more than superhero, I am. He doesn't qualify. Yeah, he, he qualifies. He qualifies. Yeah, he's he's everything that he does is the not best match. Why we have? I think he qualifies for <laughs> everything. He's a kind of superhero. Yeah, Batman or su uh, uh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't watch a lot of yeah. those kind of movies, but yeah. Yeah, I think it's the same. What yeah. He does. Yeah. For you, so, sir. Yes. I can think of anything, but uh, maybe Batman. Okay. Okay. Just because he's still a man. Right. He's not some okay. guy who has some superpower, etc. Whatever he's doing, he's got money. He's I money. think that's one of the biggest yeah. superpowers that you could have. You can, you can use money in a lot of different ways, right? Yeah. At least, uh, yeah. you know, yeah. he's no, I agree. trying to make himself into something better. Yeah, maybe that would be something that you can aspire to. Nice. nice. Actually, I don't watch superhero movies that much. But look, Purana Batman or all those have Of course, uh, but recent, recent. nothing. So, uh, yeah. no, but the movies are doing a great job, so you should watch them. The latest one, Christopher Nolan and all, are doing fabulous <laughs> yeah, jobs. Yeah, I, <laughs> I watched a lot of English movies, but not that yeah. genre. Okay. But the, what's the weirdest so, source of inspiration that you have drawn from for a project? Weirdest source of inspiration. Yeah, interesting question. We'll have to actually go down memory lane. But yeah, yeah something will come up, I'm sure. We have this very normal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. It's, it's, it's all like about reviving your memories. See, because there are so many thoughts in your mind. Yeah. So many so, times yeah, you yeah. travel and see something and, and you get inspired. But when was the last time you sat and you thought about these things? Is is, is what yeah, you want to do? Yeah. It's see. Normal. You don't have normal. nowadays the time to think. Yeah. So that's the reason why we, we we're very excited to do something like this because something like this makes you stretch your. Cheers. Thoughts, thoughts yeah. makes you go back, yeah. go forward yeah. something. Yeah. You know, <laughs> things like what you've done and what you what want you to do. do. Because those Correct. all questions will be Correct. related Little to your own self. Correct. Both. So fashion is something which uh, which kind of I follow a lot. Okay. And uh, of course it's too very relative. But the textures of fashion and sometimes to get that same fabric into work, monochrome. I'm, I'm wearing monochrome Correct. today, more quads and to think of how the simplest fashion or simplest form of art can still excite yeah. you and make you feel ki yeah, you know it sometimes it's it's a little confusing you think ki, isn't it too simple but it's mm. looking 
good yeah. you know and that is something which is which is a thought yeah. and that can move into structures that can move into interiors that can yeah. move into a car that can move into anything agreed any design you know? yeah. but to be convinced and to have that power of again minimalism for that matter so whether that simple form of art simple form of fashion can lead to an ideation to do something nice. bigger Uh, that is something which is always uh, okay. so yeah like, like coming coming back to let's say santorini the whole the whole yeah. place, place itself is just magical because of the simplicity that it has yeah. it's got Did the you manage blue. to create something which is which is like ah, that as of now never matlab imagine yeah. when yeah. it was created it years of yeah. years, years back, of back and uh, something which is extremely like the kailasha temple the more i read about mm. it yeah. i think it's it's mind blowing mm. to even think can can today we with all the modern art start building a structure from the top, top. No, no not possible so imagine wo time pe wo reverse upar se carve karke they have created yeah. the most yeah. and we in india are so in fact i think I'm deviating a little but no no perfect no, we are not. so infatuated with what our typical travel magazines and historians and blah 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 told us yeah qutub yeah. minar taj mahal you know i think honestly nothing to take away from the taj mahal it's a i'm sorry to say this i'm going to hurt a lot of okay, but it's a very simple structure yeah okay you compare it with the kailasha temple and yeah, yeah. lot of Lift. detailing the detailing is 100x agreed and imagine this is all these structures were built like this yeah right. that is built all the palaces yeah. today, today forget taj mahal I, or anything else all the palaces which mm-hmm. are the core of indian architecture yeah. were all built like this yeah. and the kailasha temple was built yeah ulta so imagine thousands of years back those guys without oh. drawings oh. or there were drawings in place but obviously i'm sure there were sketches yeah and to show the sketches to mm. what thousands of craftsmen and, and across so many years across so and many it is years carved and it's one and piece of mountain which is just a column and that column yeah, is done by two different, different yeah. craftsmen yeah. across and years with the same th- detailing and across generations sometimes yeah. maybe one column was started by a karagir and probably his son and then grandson must have done the other correct. one and still to get that same thing is agreed so it's i think simplicity but simplicity which ultimately leads to something which is yeah crazy okay. in terms of structure yeah. okay so that's why now we have the 3d printer which can do anything yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that right which we But can't do it by hand imagine now. thousands of years back to do that agreed is different different to carve it out of the same stone yeah today if you are creating a monument or even a simple structure developer ke liye kaam kaise bolta hai nahi fins bhi lagao band pe time stone lagao okay we can spend put windows in a different rose gold and blah blah mm. blah 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 mm. and then these structures much size have been done out of one stone and yeah. yet they yeah. look timeless agreed for you sir where does source of inspiration it could be a lot of things right so uh, i remember there was a, a black stone that came out uh, somewhere kabhi thare wo basalt ha that black basalt, basalt, basalt thing that basalt. that came in yeah. in the middle sometime such a i would say different but uh, something we had not seen at all but it was a black stone matte finish with a lot of holes etc etc it's a very inside, different composition for a stone but so different for a for a stone uh, i mean that actually we selected for a for a home and then did the entire home in black right lot of black everywhere just inspired by that black basalt sometimes stone. that one one material so, gives you the confidence so even that small thing whatever it may be because generally you do all these selections you know the first thing you start on a project is to do these selections yeah. of marble etc etc yeah so that one thing inspired us to then you know go out and experiment with a the black theme for the entire house right. of course the client was also willing but uh, still you know a spark of inspiration can come from correct uh, anywhere nice cool. this is this is little for the fraternity if you want to give one piece of advice to your fellow architects and designers what is the advice that you will give 
अरे हम क्या आगे हाँ देखे 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 करेंगे 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 यू 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 गिविंग एडवाइस फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स ऑल ऑल वेरी बिग लेस यूज़ ऑफ़ सोशल मीडिया Yeah, I think the whole uh, fraternity is. <laughs> I, I'm going to be hearing a lot in the next parties from a lot of friends, but I think I'm, I feel an overdose of social, social media. But sir, if you if you want to discuss this openly, I think um, we were we were we were with one of the designer. He said that the first thing that I've entered to a meeting, the the father was very happy with the way I've presented the portfolio and all. The son is as he's come down from from you know from abroad and he yeah. just walks in and says what's his, what's your Instagram handle? Yeah, we we face that yeah. yeah. And then he just yeah, he happens. said you don't have it okay right. fine I'll I'll meet you and then yeah. he just left. That happens. Yeah, that happens. We face yes. that. That's why I said now you have to have a presence on social media. You have to have a presence. Yeah, I agree. But I mean we need to strike a balance between yeah. you know just yeah. going out and uh, you know blazing on social media rather than doing <laughs> actual good yeah, work. Actually. You know, that there's a I, I don't think internationally that. projects are awarded on the basis of social media media presence of I'm very sure about that. No. Mm. Nowhere in the world they would get to the core of the design team the ideology the passion the the amount of work completed whether that matches the project in no. hand mm. a lot of these things even if it means an apartment or a much bigger size agreed of, project and i think so we do a, we do <coughs> work with lot of developers and i think developers still follow the the age old uh, way of appointing architects and we are very happy with that yeah. uh, that way where you send the profile the profile is evaluated by team members Science. across the board or whatever the yeah, selection right. process right from the finance guy to blah 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 to the architecture head and the promoter then an interview process yeah to understand because it's finally a Uh, a project they want to this relationship that yeah. is going to be developed Correct. so a physical meeting with the the promoters and the architect and then maybe a a small presentation for so we did you remember that presentation which we did where there was no plot and there was just ideation or ideation yeah 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 so we did a very interesting presentation i'll not name the developer but uh, no plot no brief okay okay and you create a uh, an experience ten, uh, experience center that uh, stimulates uh, design that stimulates uh, that wow out of a end user okay okay no size barrier no material barrier they just wanted to see how these firms could break from uh, the stereotypical okay, okay. and they said you can put up inspirations from zahadi etc wherever you want we will not be judgmental in terms of ki aapne zahadi ko copy kiya hai ya i would copy is wrong word inspirations inspired correct we want to see whether your sketch or whatever you do is in sync with what the management wants okay and they said if you want you put up plans if you want put up sketches very open ended very present open-ended. the way you want to present, present the way okay. you want to your idea okay. has to yes. come through to us experience okay. center so banana hai you might scale it to 50000 square feet we might end up making 5000 square feet acha okay. that's okay we will look at ideation okay whether wow. your team and the partners have the mindset to break okay. the ordinary and come up with i think so this is also an answer to that earlier question yeah not a project completed so that project didn't happen we were awarded the project okay okay but the project didn't take off because of some issue with the the land owners and but we did not one two three we did four ideations nice oh, wow. and out of all our travels out of all our experiences we put up pictures of cars nice so that's where that inspiration when you said fabric Fab- we put up installations of a fabric art yeah so we saw somewhere in some airport we yeah some i don't remember where was it fabric yaad bhi nahi abhi so there was a fabric art where fabric is stretched across and again that fabric if you look at it bolega ye kya hai this is like very normal linen correct 
but the way it had been weaved the way it had that flow and the lighting yeah. created a very dramatic effect mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so we took some ideation from there Correct. some from cars uh, some from iconic uh, monuments we did four presentations which had nothing just pictures and our sketches okay mm-hmm. only sketches no nice. 3d yeah. nothing plain simple so pencil nice. old school yeah. old nice. school completely nice. put the sketches scan so. karke usko presentation mein dala we still have those slides and i think that was probably the best that we and majnuna i'm sure he liked that we did out yeah. of the box okay and so we like this challenge yeah. right if somebody comes up and says yaar kuch alag karo Kar. this yeah, is what we want that excites us and yeah. when we walked out we could sense from their uh, reaction that we'll hmm. we'll do Secret. the project they were wowed about it yeah and yeah. when when we were appointed they told us that we were so happy that we could choose out of any four okay any okay. of the option from the four that you you showed us so and they had called i think five or six architectural firm it was an invitational mini okay. competition kind of thing so ultimately yeah, nice. we didn't uh, go through we of course did some more work for them later on but not on that particular project yeah. so i think ideation like like you said inspiration from something yeah. which leads to something else maybe it doesn't match uh, ex- apple to apple but it's just a thought that can excite you and take you towards crossing boundaries nice coming back one piece of advice <laughs> <laughs> that you want to give to your friends like manish dekh sir said relax world is not going anywhere <laughs> yeah that is also i think that's but not a piece of advice for others that sometimes for ourselves also yeah, yeah. at some point of time you are also in the in the rat race so yeah. it's like for me practice what you preach but preach what you practice kind yeah. of thing yeah. yeah it work matlab if i agree with manish when he says that relax mm. but if i had to say relax to somebody i would have to go back to my conscious oh, yeah. even i yeah. need to relax <laughs> the first time <laughs> i'm seeing you so relaxed <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm very actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, पौने नौ बजे सुबह मैं एकदम ऐसा ये रहता हूँ कि ये भी करता हूँ ये भी करता हूँ ये भी करता हूँ उसको फोन करता हूँ उसको करता हूँ लाइक आई एम ऑल चार्ज अप सर इफ यू हैड टू गिव एन एडवाइस आई डोंट नो डू डू दे नीड एडवाइस रोस्ट Yeah. I played tennis yeah. and we have a Sunday morning tennis group we only roast. Yeah. Okay. Two hours of game ke baad matlab roasting. So <laughs> <laughs> surf excel. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. coming back any anything that that you feel could be a, a I can said I advice. think we the whole world the whole at least Indian design fraternity is I think too much into social media and yeah. Instagram yeah. and uh, I think a little bit maybe it works for yeah. i really don't know i have, yeah. i have, we i think we've never had a case where we've got uh, a lot of work from maybe so people sure. are getting it and i'm, I'm happy if they are doing that so and this is i think what has happened is uh, because this is said by one of the one of a fellow designers only who said that uh, uh, it is not something to gain work it is something to showcase your work people are going online and then they're seeing what kind of work you're doing i think that's that's one thing that people are now but, referring to you know they open a page and then they scroll and scroll. see what kind of work you do bahut kam dikhta hai na very few firms are yeah. yeah. showing sure, yeah. yeah. it's all about other than work yeah it's a lot of stuff apart from work i'm yeah. very happy that people are showcasing work if you see our insta page yeah yeah we do we rarely yeah. post anything post we're yeah. very i think we're medieval in terms of <laughs> <laughs> social media but yeah. we will only post work Yeah, and completed projects. Yeah, we'll rarely post uh, our ideation. Office party. Coffee. Coffee. Never. Outings. Never. Outings. This is what is happening now currently. This never. is what we see. Never. Never. Yeah. Never. And, never. And mark my words. Come ten years now, we'll hopefully have this podcast again. You will at that time also see only work at space. Yeah. 
we'll assure you guys. Yeah. It'll be our completed work, whatever small, big, average we are doing. It'll all be only, only work. Nice. So on a serious note, I think uh, one thing that the fraternity needs is to value itself. Nice. What's happening today is that you know people are charging an X amount, X by two, X by five, X by ten, and people yeah. are doing it for free also. That you know, is just something. to get get the yeah. job. Very yeah. So you are absolutely devaluing the the profession. You know, this is something that is going to impact everybody in the long run. Yeah, uh, exactly. And Today you may feel that okay, yeah. at some point you are charging X by ten, you may go to X. Right. You will feel the same thing when somebody else does that to you, right? Right. Uh, so there has to be some. I mean, even the fraternity itself is least bothered. Nobody wants any kind of structure or is able to put in any kind of. That's very difficult to get. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, I'm, 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 but it's a I'm, I'm feeling very strange. Individually, yeah. individually, yeah. maybe practices can think of it and and see how they can, you know, we, we put a proper value on, on the work that they do. Uh, kind of fixated with our fee structure uh, okay. to an extent where we always jokingly say that we could double up our work if we decide to go that yeah. slide. Okay. I think uh, I, I, it's, it's very strange, but I think I'm recording the first, when I was recording the first episode of Kaid with the Mystery sir, he gave this exact piece of advice. He said that your payment terms and your things needs to be formulated. Let's all get yeah. together. Let's formulate because I am, I have designed and I've, I've put across a quotation at my payment terms and, and my way. There's someone else and in, in doing it in a different way. It's not something which is which is healthy. It's difficult, hai, hona, but uh, I think it's, it's easier said than done. Yeah. But uh, yeah, some somewhere I think because na, the bandwidth is at 80 and 90, people don't care honestly. Yeah. There will be. But today yeah. the bandwidth is 10 and 90. Yeah, yeah. it's a right. very yeah. Every, margin. Yeah. Everything is happening at every different zones. And very very right. difficult to come to a conclusion on projects really. with this kind of destructured fees. Uh, yeah. Who was the... Okay, this is good. Who was the most mischievous in college and why? <laughs> and why? <laughs> You'll answer this now. He'll not answer why? this. Why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So the hamper is yours. <laughs> <laughs> you answer this, sir. <laughs> uh, Bindas, unfiltered. So he inspired everybody to be like him. Okay. <laughs> right, which is obviously he used the word tapori. I think some yeah, some. Uh, okay. some I don't know. <laughs> so all of us turned into mini taporis around him. Yeah. So, <laughs> I think that was that was an achievement. Yeah, okay, <laughs> nice. Cool. I think last question, uh, then we'll have the, the one on one round. Uh, what is that you want to do in the near future? At work, I'm assuming. Anything is, is, up is, to is you. That's, that's up to you. That you. One thing that you, you feel that, that, okay, me as Ashudosh, I want to achieve this. That, that, that every time there is something. I think uh, for me, because I feel I've been a workaholic for the last 20 years, the next part of my life, I want to have a better work life balance okay for sure okay and i'm i'm moving towards that so it's not i can't change it overnight obviously because the brain is processed to processed. work for example if i like working 12 14 hours a day suddenly to come to 8 9 hours is, is difficult yeah. so yeah, i'm trying to process that uh, every passing year yeah. and uh, to do things life is I, I always believe one life yeah. and uh, there's so many things you like doing and probably you've missed out on doing and finally somewhere we all uh, in India are, have become so workaholic yeah. so uh, I wouldn't say monetary wise but somewhere we are we are you know structured kaam karna hai in India, you know. mm. I think we all yeah. need to break away from yeah. that somewhere yeah. and yeah. We ourselves sometimes don't know. If I ask you, like you ride, but apart from riding, trust me, you will have five other things ah, which you like, but ah. they've kind of overshadowed. Agreed. Yeah, and yeah. you've lost Agreed. them over the years ah. because you didn't have the time to do that. And when I started thinking all these things across the last two, three years, I realized that there were a half a dozen things which I like, which I never did. 
एंड डेड सम टाइम एंड देन छोड़ दिया छः महीना कुछ नहीं किया छः साल कुछ नहीं किया एंड दोज वर एज एक्साइटिंग एज डूइंग वर्क यू नो बिकॉज रेयरली कैन हैपन दैट मुझे सिर्फ काम करना पसंद है आई एम श्योर देर आदर थिंग्स विच यू लाइक विच यू मिस आउट ऑन आई लाइक वॉचिंग गुड कंटेंट बिग फैन ऑफ इंग्लिश मूवीज बट बीच में ऐसा दौर हुआ कि देखा ही नहीं कुछ भी Okay. So big backlog. So now at least once in a month, I even if it's late. Uh, luckily, we have a theater set up at home, so, so okay. we watch it on the big screen. I don't like seeing it on the smaller screen. So because of all this Netflix, Netflix. etc., you can download and Correct. see Correct. a lot of movies, old time, which you want to see again. See yeah. again. Yeah. And uh, lots of things. I I like sports a lot, and I think first thirty thirty five years of my life. I think I only watched sports more, but didn't play. And mm. I can play decent amount of sports. So yeah. now the next part I want to, I, I do play a lot now, but not as much as I would want to. Correct. Traveling, so work-related travel होता है, but you you never hit the spots which Correct. you really you want to. Correct. I went on a, I used to trek a lot yeah. during my college days, and then never happened after college. Yeah. I moved out of college and never trekked, and that's something which I. Missed on family holidays. Kia, both obviously because as family we Correct. all go spend time with family. All that is me nice time is a something. Me time is something which yeah. and I think we all need to be a little selfish about uh, me time. Very true. Never listen to music. I hardcore fan of Kishore Kumar. Yeah, Do listen, okay. but now I make it a point to listen. Listen, and listen. It's it's got a huge change on my own mind. Calms me down. I listen to at least ten to fifteen of my favorite songs. Every day, nice. Okay, nice. Every day, even before walking into a meeting, sometimes I feel that uh, there is too much stress related to a project, and you're walking in. I quickly listen to three songs, and it's a very simple remedy, but it, it kind yeah. kind of gets my uh, stress down to a different. Yeah. I run in the morning. So that running helps me to de-stress. Mm-hmm. I realize okay. in a very big, big way. So yeah. lots of things. I think we, and this is one thing which I think. The Western world has a huge edge over us. Yeah, they live life for themselves. Yeah, right. And then they live longer also. Yeah. To be very honest, now currently yes. that situation that we are in. Upon yeah. बहुत काम and profession, yeah. we I think we are stressed a lot. I don't know why. A lot of my friends yeah. who see this will be saying कि क्या बक रहा है? He's like mad work all it. But yeah, this is something which I. So like I think the say. mindset that we grew up in yeah. was such that. काम इज योर लाइफ हाँ वर्क इज योर लाइफ दैट इज वॉट यू टू डू लाइफ लॉन्ग काम करते रहना absolutely for you sir one thing that you wish that you know you so want to beyond to achieve in your life you want to take up is painting okay which has been on my mind since i don't know how many years okay but never get down to actually buying an easel putting a canvas and doing anything on it okay right it's always been there ki karna hai karna hai karna hai karna hai next month chalu karta hu agle saal chalu karta hu it's just yeah <laughs> it, it's just Went on and on and on and still as an apple. So maybe let's see if that uh, that happens in the near future. Nice. Another thing is I've lost touch with books. Okay. I used to yeah. read a lot of books, yeah. lot of books. Somehow now we don't have the time to open a book and sit with yeah. it. But yeah. it's it's something that uh, really, uh, of course, knowledge milta hai. It's a different thing, but it really calms you down. You sit yeah, in one it, place with something focused. in that yeah. it's very different from reading reading even on a mobile mm-hmm. device yeah. i think varun is someone who always has a book when he reading does. and running is something for me which seen that goes hand in hand yeah so on on a mobile device it, you really have all those distractions right kuch to idhar notification aa gaya idhar wo ho gaya then you Agreed. go back to it yeah. stuff like that that paper no, feel paper back is something else right? it's uh, different the smell of that book uh, is also something that absolutely yeah. invigorates you it go takes you to a different world then you go to a very different world different come world. back again no a very different comparison but it's it's the same thing like listening to music from a phone or phone. a speaker and listening to live music live music there yeah, is yeah, a yeah, different yeah. energy so, altogether this is one thing which in the future i i 
we even now listen to over the last few years a lot of live music mm-hmm. but i think live music has a very different uh, yeah yeah right uh, uh, to it you know, than listening to of course you will end up listening to a lot of music on yeah. your own etc but yeah. live music is something so uh, my family um, because we are muslims and we have a lot of qawwali functions at, at at weddings that's going to that that happens over a period of time uh, being patan that is replaced with you know that that conventional speaker and speaker, then, speaker. Right. now also i mean nana passed away and then you know he used to say that you know we we still need to have those mehfil is what we call yeah. Yeah. because we don't know what is going to happen in that speaker we know Absolutely. what is going to happen yeah. yeah. it's a prefix wo kya harkat yes. karega wo kya karega we don't know there's so, suspense so. when you're listening to live music yeah. rather than so, listening to something different 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 recorded you know what is going to happen next sometimes you feel that this new singer may not do justice to let's say rafi saab or but sometimes he, he does wonders he, could he does yeah, do yeah, a twist different. and yeah, yeah it could be also yeah. nice correct yeah. so another the, another thing to do with this i have not actually heard a concert in a concert hall till today okay, okay. which is without speakers right a concert hall does not have speakers it's okay. just music okay and the acoustics of the place correct. unfiltered yeah. so that is something i really want to hear i don't know where i can i can do that But as we were in Sydney thing. Opera House yeah, never, uh, when we visited, I mean the, there was no nothing playing that day. We were there, there in Sydney playing. for two days when we were in for the World Cup. Unfortunately, those two days there was nothing happening. Okay. But we, we had decided that, irrespective of because we had two days, we'll go and uh, hear, watch something. But no, it was so you can't even imagine how unfiltered music would sound yeah. right? in such a huge space. Huge space. So. Nice. That's yeah. something on my yeah. list again. Like watching nice. live uh, a Mamma Mia at uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah on stage yeah. Yeah. and seeing it on even a theater hall is yeah. Yeah. different. Yeah. Different experience. They, they they had it in in yeah, yeah. Uh, in Geo. You you yes. visited that? Yeah, I also yeah. went with we, my daughter. We see everything yeah. that yeah. was live. Yeah, it's fun. Singers, it was amazing. Good singers. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. I think both of you have done a done a beautiful <laughs> job, sir. This is the sample for both of you. One is a please give it. Thank you so much thank for coming sir. over. Thank you. Not the end of the podcast, thank you so but thank, thank you. you, thank you, <laughs> please, sir. We had a great time. <laughs> so you've been to the store. You yeah, had looked around. Times, yeah. yeah. So what's your opinion? What's your I feedback? Think, sir, it's the first time that you have visited. No, no, I no, was no, here for the, for the opening for the event. Yes. We were here. So, what's your thoughts? First, a feedback, and then yeah. a review this for us. Yeah, this is what we're doing. We don't want you to say anything yeah. which is which is. We want you to give always a unfiltered. Please, yeah, yeah. this is what we want. Sir. <laughs> we can expect Absolutely. that from us. So, first of all, we were overwhelmed uh, when we saw the scale, and when Manish invited us, and when you formally invited, Ranjita invited. I think. We were uh, we were thinking कि कितना बड़ा store होने वाला है. Yeah, we were absolutely not expecting. Yeah, we're not expecting this size because <laughs> obviously tile right. stores across the city we've seen X, and you took it to 50 X, and so we were overwhelmed yeah. to an extent where बाहर जा के हम लोग बोल रहे थे कि यार ये वरुण ने किया है ये चलने वाला है कि इतना बड़ा store. <laughs> It's too big, ना? Because Bombay real estate hits you, यार. We've seen so many yeah. stores coming up. I don't take it negatively, यार. We're just joking because we've seen so many stores come up. which breaks the scale barrier and then over a period of time they're not able to sustain and that's not again because of the promoter or the product that's only because of mumbai real estate because the re- the real yeah. estate kind of kills that whole calculation so we are overwhelmed uh, in a positive way to see and uh, we realize that this is going to be one stop uh, shop for us to explore ties because nobody wants to go to multiple places so we have an exclusive client who's ready to spend conscious about brand Conscious about quality, this is a place to go. So, yeah, two three stores like this in the city where we are comfortable uh, moving around. And I think the the collection that you guys have been able to put up is fab. I think it encompasses whatever can be done in the tile world at one place. It leaves very less questions uh, in the client's mind. Ki slate ho sakta hai kya, metallic ho sakta hai kya, most expensive marble ka copy ho sakta hai kya. स्टेप्स पे चलेगा क्या बार काउंटर पे चलेगा क्या काइंड ऑफ द स्टोर हैज अ सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी वाइब टू इट व्हिच इज गुड आल्सो आई थिंक दिस दिस निश कैटेगरी दैट यू हैव पिक्ड अप व्हिच इज लार्ज साइज टाइल्स राइट या गोइंग गोइंग फॉरवर्ड आई थिंक दिस इज गोइंग टू रिप्लेस मार्बल टू अ लार्ज एक्सटेंट बिकॉज़ ए यू आर नॉट गेटिंग गुड क्वालिटी मार्बल सेकंड द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ 
processing the marble, cutting the marble, polishing the marble, all of that is going to take up more and more time and energy and effort going forward. And these tiles, I think, uh, would be a very good replacement, especially the very large tiles that you have 10 by 5 are absolutely perfect for looking at washrooms and stuff like that. So, uh, and you've not cluttered it with, you know, 100 other things. Mm -hmm. right? So, it's just simply focused on the large format uh, tiles. So, you're very specific. This is what I want. I come here, I close it and I leave. So, I think, uh, job well done. I think it's, it's got a uh, art gallery feel to it, which is most important. When you when you admire art, you can't admire art looking at three feet, you know. The gallery always gives you, yeah. a, most good galleries across the world, even in India, will give you a breathing space of 10, 15, 20 feet to admire uh, that. And I think most of your tiles look like pieces of art because you have that space to look at it from a distance. And they, they obviously are a piece of art every every tile. So I think just the, the scale of the... Uh, store studio allows you to get that art gallery feel which is I think a very big uh, positive I think presentation is the the way ahead for most products uh, a very good product not presented well I think will not sell a very good product with very good presentation will sell hotcakes that's yeah. been an end of it. I think we've been into this last 14 15 years mm. all the while the purpose has always been to get the best material in India for some reasons we are based in Pune so we couldn't yeah. get directly to the designer as an architect. This has been an attempt of just getting more closer but to now, you guys. Honestly, mm. uh, it doesn't matter where where you are because yeah. the industry is so well connected. Tomorrow, if we just get a lead that somebody in, let's say, Kolkata or even in a B or C tier city is, let's say, doing a fab art job, it's very easy to go there and and pick it up and get that guy on board. You know, pehle jaisa nahi hai abhi. so. I think anywhere. I mean, that's what our attempt is still to get. <laughs> because of what I've been discussing, I think there's still a couple of brands more, which I've never seen India or Indians have not seen a brand in their perspective, mm. which are still at a very different level. I think that's the time yeah. which we are planning yeah. to get to a scale mm. which is much mm. higher than this. Okay. So let's see in the near future. We'll also, be one good positive about your store, it, it, the, the way the score, store is come up with the, the display and stuff, uh, it's easier for a client to walk in without an architect. Because most clients now, it's physically not possible for us to accompany every client everywhere. So we send them a list of vendors that this is the journey that you can go through before we come into the picture and close the loop. So I think places like your store make it easier for the client to understand how the tiles can be used. Uh, if it, for example, apne doors pe laga hai, you know, we want that seamless experience of the floor going on the wall. To explain it on a sketch, then onto a 3D is still okay. But the 3D still gives you a very fictitious vibe, you know, because that question mark is always dangling. Ki, kya laga hai, tile door pe lagane wala hai, girega tile, you know, it will create an accident, blah, blah, blah. When yeah. the store has all that done, it uh, kind of helps the designers to narrate that story in a in a much better manner. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Sir. Thank you. Now for us, I think Kaid is one team. How was so your experience? experience. That's, that's that's for the little close at hand. Nice. We've never, like I said, na, we've never had uh, the time to go back and think and also think of what's being doing, what, what's what's going to happen in the in the future for us. So I think some of these things we'll be thinking even after we go out. Yeah. From here. Some of the yes. questions, I mean, I must appreciate the way the questions were framed. Yes. You know, to actually provoke some thought rather than, you know, just being banal. Like that you know, question discussion. of yours where you asked us what inspired. Yeah. Uh, I think lots of things must have inspired. It's it's not possible that through your entire journey, but you don't actually Absolutely. stop there and think, okay, this monument or this art or this, uh, you know, can, can move forward. There, there'll be, I think if a person is conscious about design and you know looking at and curious to uh, try and see more things as one travels or even everywhere uh, but you tend to forget what thought went through your mind at that point of time sitting in the airport looking at a maybe a sculpture what crossed your mind and whether it moved ahead into something in, in ideation so that was very interesting thought provoking thank cool you very good. thank you so much thanks for coming a lot over, sir. Sir. that's the end of the podcast yeah, i hope you had a good time, good time. Uh, 
of course we we try to keep it as free flowing mm -hmm. as possible yeah. and thank you so much for coming over sir thank you yeah? thank absolute you. pleasure thank, thank you pleasure. That's pleasure. It. <laughs> thank you so much so we'll be back again with with season 2 of kite know your architect/designer until then uh, stay tuned mm -hmm.